biggest account that I've lost, and this is this might shock some people. I lost my sports bet account. I literally that afternoon I was sitting I was sitting at work. I think it was it was a Thursday or a Friday afternoon. It was pretty late in the day when I, I had the email come through, and I jumped straight into the chat, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" If you think you know everything about anything, you, you're an idiot. Like you're literally an idiot. Yeah, I mean, I put a post out the other day, so on Instagram, saying, "You know, hey, well, I'm about to record the one year. We're sitting at about 17 grand after Wednesday, Saturday." The, the sports system that I'm in as well. Um, I literally just double checked it before we sat down. So I've just topped 18 grand in, in profit. I get a bit emotional talking about it. That job actually pulled me out of homelessness. I've been going through like a, like a bit of mental health issues. Um, literally pulled up to the train station on my way to work, just couldn't get out of the car. I had quit my job, didn't know what the fuck I was doing with my life. Alrighty, so we're back with Pete and JP. Obviously this is the fourth podcast we've done with Big Platinum Pete. One year in now, and uh, I reckon we'll just hand the reins straight over to you, Pete, and you can give us <laughs> give us a bit of a rundown of where you're at along yeah. the journey, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, a uh, bit of an expert at this now, I think. 100%. I'm, I'm sort of a part-time guest, especially four, <laughs> four episodes. No one else has done this, so <laughs> I, might have to, uh, I might have to talk to my agent about getting like a producer's credit or something. <laughs> yeah, but, um, profit's no, probably on enough. Yeah, 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 yeah that's it. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's been insane. Um, you know, 12 months ago when I, when I first reached out to Tommy um, and we started talking about, you know, what is the system and, and how does it work and, you know, what can it kind of do? Um, you know, I had no idea that, that it would turn into what it's become. Um, obviously, you know, as big as you guys have gotten um, and, and, you know, the business that you guys have built, but also for me and, you know, the money that's going into my pocket, which is just, you know, it's just bonkers. Um you know, for anyone that saw the, the very first episode way back when, um, before I even opened a, a bunch of accounts, um, you know, one of the questions you guys said was like, how much money do you think you need to make, like to, to make it worth the time? Was it seven? Yeah. And I, I said seven grand, you know, yeah. cause I was like, look, it's, you know, it's going to cost me about two grand to get in. Um, yeah, I said, said like three X your investment. Or yeah. Something. I said, if I can yeah. get, if I, if I got triple my money back in 12 months time, you know, I'd be fine. Um, you know, and, and, and we'd be happy with that. So, you know, if I got my two grand plus. And we know, were, to be fair, we were, we were like laughing at you. Yeah, I, I knew you as, as an individual, and I, like I was telling JP early days, I'm like, if he does it properly, like, yeah. it'll be a, it'll be a piss take. Yeah, but again, it's hard for people to kind of grasp that concept. Like, you're in, and you, as you discussed in other podcasts, like you had a bit of trading background, like yeah. you've done other things, and you knew, like, investment wise, you know, 100 percent ROI in 12 months is silly. And like, we're yeah. sitting here telling you, bro, you go on 10x, and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> that's stupid. But yeah, that's. I mean, it's one of those things like I, I can certainly appreciate, you know, and I guess we'll, we'll talk about like the community a little bit later, but I, I can certainly appreciate the people that come in fresh and, and people that maybe come from like a losing background or, or you know, they're, they're down and they sort of don't understand the math or the, the system. I mean, I don't really know the secret herbs and spices either, but, you know, understanding the math and, and how it works, I can understand why people are skeptical. Mm. Um, you know, I'm fairly conservative with my money. I'm, I'm you know, I'm happy to put a sum aside and take a bit of a risk and play with it in the markets and that sort of stuff. But, you know, something like this was just never dreamed of. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I put a post out the other day. So on Instagram saying, you know, hey, well, I'm about to record the one year. We're sitting at about 17 grand um, after Wednesday, Saturday um, and the, the sports system that I'm in as well. Um, I literally just double checked it before we sat down. So I've just topped 18 grand in, in profit. Nice. Love that. Extra, um, extra gorilla for the week. <laughs> so, oh, dude, it's, it's, it's crazy, right? Um, uh, you know, obviously there's a bit of a breakdown on that between the sports system and the, the, the horses and whatnot. Um, so it's about 4K on the sports system, 14K on the, on the horse system. Yeah. So nice. Which is just like, I mean, that's, that's double, uh, just, just on the horses, like that's double what I was hoping, like, like my top end expectations was like, yeah. God, if I triple my money, like that'd be amazing. You know, and we've gone, it's cost me 1900 bucks, you know, to call, call it two grand to put in, um, you know, and I'm sitting here 14 K up yeah. just on, just on the horses, which is like, it's, it's honestly, it blows my mind. Right? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like it's hard for, it's probably even people that are listening to this that like are oh, paid actor or whatever. <laughs> and like the other thing as well is like 14 K that's not you just like sitting there punting, putting a few bets on. Like, I think yeah. that there's a common misconception because the way that most people gamble or bet is that they're just sitting there on a Saturday fucking randomly punting or whatever. Yeah. And then they're punting their bonuses and then they disappear. But 
like, and we don't, we don't like tip, like tippy toe around this. I just tell every single person I voice record, like not here to blow smoke up your ass, not here to sell you a dream. Like you're going to have to be patient and disciplined. So yeah. I think you might be selling yourself a little bit short in a sense that like, <laughs> yes, you've made this money, but you didn't make it overnight and no, you weren't yeah. making, you know, you weren't making two or three grand every month at the start. Yeah. Like, uh, so that's why I wanted to kind of like, yeah. you know, where did we, where did we start the first podcast? Like you were what, five, ten dollar units. So yeah, where have you got so to now? Where did you start? And yeah. like, when did it start to like snowball? Like, yeah. Cause that's yeah. how it works, really, right? It starts compounding pretty quickly. Yeah. Really, really good question. Um, so when we caught up for the three month podcast, I was at about three and a half grand profit. Yeah. Um, and obviously the sports system hadn't started up. So that's, that's pure, pure horses. Um, and I was making, you know, I was sitting there thinking, you know, a thousand bucks a month. Yep. That's, that's fine. Like easy done. Um, and at that time I was like religious with it. Right. Like I would had the laptop, had my phone, I'd, you know, I'd put on like racing seven, you know, I'd tell my kids, Hey, look, if you need something, talk to your mum. right. I've got, I've got to get this done. I'm working that kind of thing. Um, you know, I mean, there were still days that I missed where I was like, look, it's more important for me to go and you know, spend time with my family and, and that sort of thing. But when I was, when I was doing it, I was really, really strict with it. Um, and right after that podcast, I, I started bumping my units up. So I think I was on about $20 units at that time. Um, now I'm probably different to most people. I'm a little bit fluid in terms of the unit sizes that I use. So I sort of range between kind of 30 to $50, depending on the weekend, depending on the accounts I'm using, depending on the bankroll. So that's more dictated to by how seriously you can follow plus the sustainability side of things, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So when, when the promo list comes out, um, you know, the first thing that I I look at is, all right, where am I putting all my bets? Um, and you know, I guess to, to clarify for, for everybody as well, I, I do this essentially part-time. Um, you know, I work 40 hours a week. I've got kids, family, we go away, you know, we have weekends off, all of that sort of stuff. Um, you know, and as part of that, my sustainability and my defense probably is not as elite as it should be. Um, and I don't follow as strictly as I, as I should. Um, and because of that, I have lost a few accounts and we'll, we'll kind of go into that later. So, there are some Saturdays where it comes out and I look at it and I'm like, this is going to be really tough. I need to be, I need to be super, super careful. You know, I don't have accounts X, Y, and Z, which means that I'm going to stretch some of the accounts that I do have through the winter. Um, and so that might mean that I'm using a smaller unit size because I need to then be careful with my mugging around that. I need to make sure that my defense around that's really good. Um, and so there might be a Saturday where, uh, you know, my unit size for the day is like 30 or $35. But then we have like the Saturday just gone where, I've got access to pretty well everything. I can follow every tip. I can do everything. Yeah. Perfect. I'm going to start promo I'm, this yeah, shorter day. That's it. Yeah, I'm yeah. going I'm I'm to spread my bets out. Um, you know, Wednesday is the same. Wednesday comes through. It's two races. I've got every bookie. It's like, bang, let's go. Perfect. Yep. Um, and so those days I might do like 40, 50, even $60 units, right? And so even though I, I'm not a Lenny or a, or a Greeny, right? I don't scale. I haven't got any. I, I've only got my accounts. Um. But on a Wednesday, I might look at it and go, "All right, perfect. I, you know, today I'm going to do a six. I'm, I can do sixty dollars units. So yeah. I, you know, one one race we've got two tips, but I'm going to use four bookies. I'm going to do twenty or thirty dollars yeah, on nice. each of those bookies to spread yeah. it out. Helps me keep my mugging in check, but it also means that you know when we go plus six units, you know, instead of me going plus six units on thirty dollars, I've just gone plus six units on sixty dollars for the yeah. day. Then my bankroll's higher. I've got a little bit more money in the account." Yeah. I can maybe be a little bit more relaxed with my mugging, you know, maybe not, um, you know, I don't, I don't hunt for sort of like the, the, the one, two, three percent hedges that, that people do. Um, and that's, that's sort of like a big part of, you know, I guess the, again, the difference between me and someone like Lenny yeah. who just absolutely smashes this stuff. Like yeah. I'm, I'm literally doing it part time. I think that's a, that's a pretty common progression. Like having spoken to a lot of people, especially when after they join platinum, they kind of get to a point where they're messaging us. They're like, you know, what should I be looking for on my non-promo horse turnovers? Or what should yeah. I be looking for on my non-promo sport turnovers? And what I kind of tell them is like, once you get to a point where you're making at least a thousand dollars a month, it's more so those non-promo bets that you're doing. I personally would be looking at it in the most time manner possible. So yeah. if you're getting like 6% or 7% as opposed to 3%, but you're saving yourself two hours a week. Yeah. Like I personally would think that for them, that's more beneficial. Yeah. At the end of the it. day, like you said, you just want to have a setup that works for you. It's the most sustainable model possible because yeah. the longer you can do it without either getting burnt out, without losing your accounts, without you know yeah. getting stressed off your dick or not <clears throat> spending time with your family, that's what you should be aiming for. Yeah. Now there are some 18, 19, 20 year olds like Lenny, whatever, they don't have kids, right? They don't yeah. have like their Saturday. They are fucking locked in 
Yeah. They've got X amount of accounts and they're going ham. Like th- this is their job. That's yeah. their full-time job. So yeah. and there are, there's all. like, of course, there's a massive yeah. scale here. That's why match betting works for everybody. Yeah. Like, dude, like if there's somebody that doesn't have spare time, but it's you. Yeah. You're working, you work yeah. 40 hours a week. You've got four kids. And, and I think you've got to spend time with your wife on the weekend. Like, yeah. bro, if you can do it. Yeah. I mean, I, and I think like you talk about the spare time and like I know I spoke about it last podcast, you know, th- there's a work-life balance here, but um. I mean, for me, like the big thing, I, I remember it was probably about six months in, um, you know, I took wife, kids, went out with my dad, went out for lunch one day um, and I had the phone on the table and I was like, look, you know, it takes me 30 seconds to put a bet on, like as the tips come in, you know, I'm just going to kind of put the bet on, get back to the conversation, you know, eat my meal, all that sort of stuff. Um, and like my missus knew, she knows the system, she's happy for me to be in it and all that sort of stuff. And we got, we got about halfway through lunch, it got to about sort of like one o'clock so we're, we're about halfway through the day um, and the old man goes off, you know, it's his shout, he's, he's off to the bar and like my missus turns to me and she's like, put the fucking phone away. I don't care how many units you're up. I don't care how much money you're making. Like we're here with your dad. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's not like, worth it. F- fucking spend time with your dad. And, I, and like it, it was almost like a, it was like a light bulb moment because you get so into it, right? It's like even for someone like me who's, you know, who, who's not, going ballistic with it even i had that fomo kicking in yeah and like you know i know we talked last time you know there were times when like uh you know I, my mugging just went stupid because i was like well shit i made 500 bucks on the weekend like watch this boys let's chuck 50 bucks on this let's chuck you know 20 bucks on this insane multi and that sort of stuff because who cares i'm gonna make it back with the system um and then when you're tracking your bets and yeah. you look at it and you're like why is my profit level going down like how did i lose money where's that gone and you go back through and you go oh because i mugged it away you know, it's, and it's the same thing. Like you look at it and it's like, yeah, it, like it's great. Like for the rest of that day, I, I don't even know what, what we went. You know, I muted it, turned it off and away we went. But whether it was like plus five, plus 10, minus five, minus 10, like that's irrelevant. It's like, mate, I'm there to spend time with my dad. Like that's the important thing. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to rehash that mugging mindset really quickly when yeah. you were like, I have these profits. So the system's either going to make it back for me or yeah. I'm betting with the bookies money. That is like such a common mug mindset like yeah any and they don't even have to be degenerate but any like recreational gambler punter whatever you want to call yourself if you're in profit like say systems made you 500 bucks or you hit this fluke multi yeah. you made a thousand bucks or whatever you you're not betting with their money you're betting no. with your profit that's, that's that you've made positive variance yeah. in your favor and if you give it away and, and then you piss it away you've uh, pissed away system profits literally. before 100 percent is it's the mindset right and literally i was telling myself like who gives a shit i'm playing with house money right, right. like i've only put X thousands of dollars into depositing the no. accounts and I'm thousands and thousands, like I'm, you know, five figures up. Who gives a shit if I lose 50 bucks? It's like, yeah, but when you do that 10 times. Correct. And it's like, that's- you lost know, 10% that, of that's a, And that's what about a, the days a, when the system or the uh, way that you're yeah. paying doesn't make a profit? That's like, well, then that's what a, are you doing? I mean, that's a 10 unit weekend that I've just pissed, pissed away, away. Right, like, the, and you know, yeah. and that's that's crazy. But the other um, thing, sorry, you want to go first or? Oh, I was just saying, but yeah, so ultimately like, what's happened over the last 12 months i reached out to jp to say hey look can you send me a list of the tips i just want to double check how many i've actually followed because i've had days off i've had half days of, you know i've had days where i've followed for a couple of hours and you know my daughter's like take me to the park and i'm like all right well whatever like that's more important now i have to go and do that um and so over the last 12 months i had a look there's about 1900 tips have gone out um i've followed about 1500 of those so, so what's that, 75 like, like, Yeah, about three quarters percent. of them. Yeah, yeah nice. Um, and averaging about a $30 unit size across the board. Like Perfect. obviously I spent so long on, on smaller units to get started up. Yeah. Do you um, think Do you think that the way that you approach it now, if you hadn't committed to a year subscription and if you were on a monthly subscription, do you reckon you'd operate the same way or do nah. you think that you'd be like, fuck, I'm paying 25 bucks a week on average for this. Yeah. I have to do it. Whereas if you purchase like a three monthly, a six monthly or a yearly, you know, it, it works out to be like it's, 40 or 50 a month or whatever, like half the price. Yeah. Plus, you know that you're going to be there in the next 40 Saturdays so you don't get too caught up with every Saturday's results. It's interesting, man. I Like, I think um, I think it's different. Uh, obviously, that like everyone's going to answer that question differently. Um, I think for me personally, it, there, would, there probably would have been months that I would have taken off. Um, I know like one of the conversations that I had, you know, with a, a couple of guys in the, the, the sports system chat when, when that first started up, you know, and these are, these are like serious, you know, clients of yours, right? Like well, I'm fortunate enough that you guys let me be part of that. And, you know, I'm really, really appreciative. Um, 
But, you know, like I reached out to them at one point a couple of months ago and I'm like, guys, does anyone, like, is anyone burned out doing this? Like I'm mentally knackered and I'm only following it part time. Like the, the guys that are committing to, you know, like your lenies and whatever that are committing to, I'm going to sit down with the laptop and I've got 20 bookies open and I'm doing $100 units and I've got four phones, like whatever it is, right? Whatever, whatever level you're at. I think it's inevitable, but like there's going to be times when like mentally you need to switch off. You need to just be like, I just need a week off. Yeah. Let me put a couple of mugs on just so that my accounts stay active, you know, and, and it doesn't look like I'm, you know, doing anything sus. Um, but I think you need those days. Right. Um, and, and like, as part of that, like that, that 22 unit banger that we had end of early July, June, or early June yeah. whenever it was, um, I pulled out halfway through that day. Right? I got to, I got to 10 units up and I was like, that's me done. I'm out. Part of that sustainability. Part of it was because I was just like, I don't want to sit here for another four hours. Like I'm mm. knackered. I, I just don't want to do it. Um, so yeah, you miss out on that profit. Um, but at the same time, the 13 unit, lost day that we just had i was at a spa with my missus for the weekend all comes out in the wash paid paid for by the system yeah and so it's like yep i could sit there and i could stew about it and i could be annoyed and i can be pissed off and be like crap if i had a, if i had to stay disciplined if i had to stay committed if i had to really stuck to it i'd be another you know four or five hundred bucks up but at the same time i've then missed a day where yeah. i would have lost literally all comes out in the wash yeah that discipline that you talk about though is also like having the ability to put your phone away to not get fomo that that's yeah. also discipline that is built in through understanding that you're going to be here in another 12 months yeah so yeah the tw- system's going to make another 300 350 units profit over the next 12 months yeah cool i might get 280 of those because i'm doing xyz but you know that's going to come yeah and i think the more that you build these habits and this understanding and remove your emotion that's so fixated, everyone is so fixated on how much profit they're gonna make Saturday or how much profit they're gonna make Wednesday. Yeah. Once you remove that, you, you just understand it's like this, it's just this fluid process of every time I sit down and do all these bets and look after my accounts, you know, yeah. I know in 12 months time I'll have, you've got 18K now or whatever in 12 months, like fucking, you know, you do the exact same thing next year, yeah, you're gonna make 15 it. to 20K again without doing anything different. Yeah. And yeah. you can be more fluid and you can be, you spend more time with your family because you already know the process you know the ins and outs and you're yeah. just so much more familiar with it. Yeah. That is the hardest thing for subscribers, yeah. in my opinion, to get them to that point. Because yeah. we're like, bro, if you're here in six months, yeah. you will look at this so differently. Yeah. You're not going to be sitting there sweating every fucking tip yeah. and you'll be here for years and years and, to come and it'll be a piss, like a piss take. And I think to get back to your your question earlier, um, obviously there's, there's people that probably do this month to month. I don't know how your, like, what your subscription numbers look like. Obviously, I just went all in for, for 12 months. Um my re-up just came. I've only re-upped for another three. And that's because I'm like, I'm still feeling a little bit of that burnout. Obviously, it's a bit different because, you know, I'm following sports system as well. But um, my plan at the moment is to like just get through spring. Like obviously, this is we're about to hit like the peak. Like every bookie is going to be spreading their legs and just ready to take it. <laughs> right? I, mean, I mean, that's what they do. Oh unfortunately, right? like, yeah, that, unfortunately, that's what the punter does. And yeah, I mean- but but from it takes from, advantage there. But um, from from our from point of view, though, perspective, with, of course, yeah, like it's Christmas. Like, like yeah, that, you want to be involved. Exactly you want to know how to do it. And and so it's like I, I know for you know the next the next three months, like we've just had Group One starting back up again. Like there's more promos everywhere. You're getting text messages from like Thursday through to yeah, Sunday night Sunday saying you scenes. know bang 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 bang. Um, I know that like by by the time we get through like Melbourne Cup Day, like I, I, this is the time when I want to cash in and like really hit it hard. By the time we get to Melbourne Cup Day, I'm like, I need some time off. Yeah. And so, you know, yeah, I could commit to another 12 months over like Christmas, January and that sort of stuff. Like I know there's like still, you know, a lot of group ones and, and big races, but I'm probably not going to follow the system. And I know that that sounds crazy. Like yeah, I why, don't think it why does. would you not? It's free money, it's profit. But I, I think when you've been here for – for 12 months you understand that it's like i think it's actually important to sometimes take that step back and i know there's a couple other guys in the sports system like don't even follow the system at the moment um just because they're like you know they're getting ready for spring um you know i think it's i think it's one of those things that like the the people that follow month to month again sorry not to dive dive out too far from your question but I, i think if if there's people out there that are following like month to month and you've you've been doing it for more than six months I think it's well worth jumping on like a six month plan. And then again, like, I don't know what everybody's situation is like, but I think it's well worth jumping on a six month plan and knowing you've kind of got it there in your back pocket. So if you have that Saturday, like you said, you're not like, 
shit, you know, I've, I've only bet three out of four Saturdays this yeah, month. I've, 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 wasted, yeah. I've wasted 25% of my membership, and, you know, that kind of thing. And it's like, well, yeah, but you don't. If you commit to, you know, if you do six months, you can you can afford to take, you know, one Saturday a month off. Not that I'm saying everybody should, but you can do that. And so when you start feeling that burnout or if you're sitting there halfway through a day and you're like, nah, I'm knackered. I just, I mentally, I just don't want to do this anymore. You don't. You don't push yourself because when you when you push yourself is when you start making mistakes. Yeah, hundred um, percent. And like, I guess that's kind of the next thing we're into is like I've lost a few accounts, um, like pretty big ones too. Um, obviously, there's a lot of smaller bookies, you know, that you, you win a couple of bets and you're gone. Um, like, I, you know, I I don't know if I should mention them, but uh, like I just lost cross bet not long ago. Literally hadn't mugged on, uh, hadn't uh, put a promo on for probably a month. Um, followed them on Saturday, just gone, hit two winners and lost right straight away. Like my account, my account, you know, went up. Some of those smaller bookies, I mean, the way they're operating, I've seen so many people on Twitter Swift and stuff bet. talk about like yeah. the way that these guys are operating. You don't have to be a no. promo rorder. You don't have to be a no. match better. It's just simply, uh, yeah. You, you're, there's, there's, you're a it's winning just, It's honestly luck of the draw in a sense yeah. that like doesn't matter what you're doing with your account unless you're a full-on yeah like unless a you're a full-on like you're literally donating that one. Yeah. they're just they're just going to be like look this guy's won a couple bets he took a couple of sharp prices or whatever it might be you're yeah a, like you're yeah a, that's exactly and i'm it. seeing people all over twitter doing this and not only that it's more to the extent like oh you hit a couple winners send me 12 month bank statement send me yeah. you know a stat and deck, sign this stat deck. Do yeah, all this I mean, because you want to try and take like 500 plus out of the account so yeah. i mean i'm, yeah. I'm wouldn't be losing enough. sleep over that yeah i mean i'm, I'm fortunate enough i haven't been stat deck yet i haven't had any sort of issues with withdrawals and that sort of stuff but even mean, if you do it's your account so you got no issues yeah that's that's exactly it i mean you don't want to have to go through the hassle of doing yeah. it but you know it's it's but i just want to clarify it's, like a, a bookie like swift bet um they've actually we've had a few people come to us and say like oh what do i do i've got this stat deck um, if you're like even outside of our community, if you go hard at that bookmaker and it's your account, you have every right to like hammer them and say, yeah. fuck you, basically, this is my shit, fuck off. And they will back down and you can even sort of use the right language to say the right things with the right bodies. And I guarantee you they'll back down. We've seen that pretty much- Just don't get bullied. It's essentially yeah. don't get bullied by them. Like the, you haven't done anything Because there's wrong. no auditing body, they kind of just do whatever they want. And until you yeah. know the rules and know what to say, they will do that. Uh, yeah. And probably most people will be like, oh, fuck, I'm scared here. I don't want to sign that because, like, they might think they're getting in trouble. But realistically, you're not doing yeah, anything wrong. 90% so. of people that would be getting those are doing nothing wrong. Correct. And there would be 10% that yeah, are doing something are people, wrong. Yeah. And the people that are doing something wrong, 95% of the time would know that they're doing something yeah. wrong and they would accept That's the, the risk, risk that comes take. with that. Yeah, yeah. Do whatever you want to do, but just know that you don't have to bow down to them and – just give yeah. up, especially if you've not done anything wrong. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Get that money back. Yeah, I mean, uh, the only the only two I guess that I really want to highlight in terms of ones that I've lost, um, I, I lost Unibet, um, and that was purely from not doing enough horse mugging. Yeah, um, I know that that's part of the rules, and you know, it's it's in the. the I just want to clarify as well because we kind of I know the terminology when you started was mugging, but yeah, I want to really hammer down that we call it non promo now yeah, because non, I think non-promos, people that are yeah. so when Pete's talking about mugging, he's talking about non promo bets that are hedged yeah. or yeah. laid so Back that we lay, are losing touched, one whatever. to eight yeah. percent of the total stake. He's not blind gambling. I just want yeah. that to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Because yeah. there would be people watching this that are like, I might get into match betting. Oh, he's still mugging. Like that's yeah. cool. Like yeah, no, no, no. That's that's fair enough. And I guess yeah, it is it is important to to differentiate that. Um, so yeah, no, I'm, the non you did, weren't doing non promo horse racing horse bets on Unibet, and that's yeah. that's, yeah. that's a killer I mean, for them. Yeah, I mean, I, I I was putting on sports bets, sports multis. Um, they had like really really good odds on like outsiders, so you'd get like some really good matches and that sort of stuff. But um, it, it was more just a time investment thing. I didn't want to have to. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that I didn't want to. It's just that I didn't. Uh, I wasn't disciplined enough, and I, and I didn't put enough weight on how important it was to do those non-promo bets on horses um yeah on the, on the yeah. horses um, that's probably because of your setup because you're sort of yeah. a more of a flexible follower like you're out and about you obviously wouldn't yeah. back and lay on your phone because it's harder you can yeah. do it but you'd probably <laughs> want a couple of screens on one of the other podcasts. yeah um, i've um, mistake doing that yeah, yeah. like I've, I've tried doing that a couple of times like yeah. set up the, the split screen on my like we do it bet, no with, problem with mean bet. Betfair and the and the bookie, yeah. And you're like, oh, there's a match, and then like, yeah. I know the I've delay put, kills you. I know I've put up a couple, of, <laughs> I've put up a couple of screenshots from people like on Insta. They're like, oh, you know, is Platinum Squad worth it? What's happening with you know your bonuses and all that? And I'm like, well, you know, here's my last ten bets, and you know, two of them are like 200, and it's yeah. like, there's one there that's like 
thirty six percent. It's like what happened there? And it's like, well, <laughs> I got the I got the bet on, and then by the t- by the time you know, I by the, the time app. I flipped to the app, like the, okay. the price and was just adjusting your stake and stuff. The on price the was just gone. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then I got and then I got to run and open the calculator because I'm like, it's, yeah. bl- it's blown out. What do I do? Yeah, yeah. Like, how much money? Oh no! Like, I'm lo- it's it's still blowing it. Oh my gosh, it's going further. Like, oh no! Like, what's yeah. Do I just no? Okay, I got to at least hedge something on here. And in fact, you still got thirty six percent on it. <laughs> mistakes, like, you know, yeah, better than most. The other thing I want to clarify: you said earlier in the podcast that you're not like super experienced, like a Lenny and stuff. Yeah. I think you're counting yourself short in that sense of like not so much from a I don't know like a level of spectrum where you're fully taking the piss out of match betting, yeah. but I think from a mindset point of view, I think you are super experienced because. Yeah. You don't get emotional like at the start. You probably did when we had a losing day. I don't think it affected you too much, but no, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. So, like, what I mean by that is, you said you had a varying unit size. Now, I don't want anyone else in the community to do this ever because yeah, no, no, no. that's not one hundred percent. That's not advice. You've got assumed like a, a large bankroll, which you know yeah. the system mathematically can't ever eat at to the point where it gets yeah. to zero. But secondly, you've done that because you basically understand everything as to how it works, yeah. and you understand that. There will be variants. Like you could have a, a higher profit day on a sixty dollar unit size, but you also had a could have had a big yep. losing day on that. Yeah, and you've I've, accepted I've that, that that variance within your own system is yep. going to happen. So, as a beginner or anyone starting, I would definitely not recommend to change yeah. unit size. Stay mm. on it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Cool. We teach you how to fish, and the beauty of how we teach our match betting here and at the system. Like a lot of people out there will teach match betting in a sense of I oh, yeah, do this, make profit, but. Even when you go to the gym, right, or you tell someone to change their diet or something, you want to teach the why, like why yeah. are you doing something so that they understand the process so that they can then adapt it to their own lifestyle, fucking scenario, whatever. Yeah. Um, one size fits all never works. So if you can adjust your own knowledge and understanding of that process to then suit you, that's what you want. So yeah. nail the process first. And then if you want to do that shit that Pete did, like adjusting unit sizes according to the promotions and stuff that you have, yeah. great, but don't do that in the first three to six months. But that's yeah. also as well when he touched on it, like Pete wasn't doing that from like a gambler's nah. perspective in a sense like, oh, I'm going to cash in today. Nah. It was literally like sustainability. And, and as you said, like basically every bet you'd place through the entirety of all of those days was approximately $30 on each book. Yeah, you know? like, that's, that's so it. So that, again, I totally understand where you're coming from, but as JP said, like, Someone sitting there going, oh, like oh, some days I'm just going to decide no. I feel like good today. I'm going to double my unit size. That's definitely not what you were doing. No, and no, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's a holistic clarify. approach. And it, yeah, and considering it everything. Yeah, and and it wasn't it wasn't like a reaction to no. you know the trends Previous or anything results, like that. Yeah, correct. You know, like um, you know, I, I certainly wasn't looking at it like you know the 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 big losing day that we had. You know, the negative thirteen day. You know, I'm sure there's I'm sure there's some people out there that looked at that and then went, oh, okay, we've just had another losing day. That means the next, you know, three weeks, like it's going to be profit, profit, profit. So now's the time I'll jump from forty to sixty yeah. dollar units and really like smash my accounts. I mean, yeah. that's that's when you're going to get hit, um, and that probably leads into like the biggest account that I've lost. And this is this might shock some bet. people. I lost my sports bet account. Yeah, I remember um, when you lost it. And and I literally that afternoon I was sitting I was sitting at work um, I think it was it was a Thursday or a Friday afternoon it was pretty late in the day when I, I had the email come through and I jumped straight into the chat and I was just like what the fuck <laughs> how did this you pretty early how, I reckon you're like maybe six months in. probably about six months yeah. ago yeah and I was like I, I literally for probably that whole weekend I had like an existential crisis I was like I've just lost how did I just lose the biggest bookmaker. How have I lost this account? How am I going to manage things? Because sports bets every Saturday, yeah. we've got promos on pretty well every race yeah. that we tip into. I'm like, they're one of the mainstays that everybody uses. I'm like, how did I lose this? What did I do? And I, I went back at them pretty hard because like my ratios were good. My, my money was like, uh, you know, non-promo to promo was really good. There's, there was nothing there that would indicate that I'd done anything wrong. And, and you know, like, what was it? What, 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 what have I done wrong? Um, and I eventually actually got onto a phone call with them um, and they refused to put this in writing. I was, I, I finished this conversation. I was like, send me that in writing. And they were like, well, you've already got your email telling you, you know, that you're it's, not getting promos, you're not getting promos yeah, yeah. anymore. I was like, well, yeah, but I, I want the why. Right. And I, and I hammered them and hammered them and hammered them. I said, look, yeah. tell me, tell me what it was. Yeah. And so the, the two, the two things that came up that, that triggered the review on the account that, that they told me about is um, the biggest one was a liability on a bonus bet. Mm-hmm. So I normally split all my bonuses into like ten or at most twenty five dollars, um, and so you know if I've put fifty dollars on and I get a fifty dollar bonus bet, I'll split it into usually I'll split it into five ten dollar bonuses and put those on. Um, 
and I'd had a pretty good run with turning over bonuses. Uh, my bet fair balance was like really, really high. Like I said, it was like a Thursday or a Friday or something. <clears throat> I'd had a couple of minutes at work. I just flicked through a couple of races, found like just a sick match, right? The horse, the horse on sports bet was like twenty twenty one dollars, and on bet fair it was like eighteen, right? And so for anyone that that does the the bonus turnovers on bet fair, you're like that's heaven. Yeah, that's piss take. Bang! I've so got- you blobbed a fifty. So I lobbed the whole fifty dollars in, yeah. Yeah. right? So I've now got a thousand bucks on a single bet liability on sports bet, and that was an instant red flag. Did it lose? Yes, it lost. Yeah, okay. But 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 you've gone from 10, 10, I, 10, I'd, 10, I'd, 10, yeah. 10. I'd gone from having like two hundred, you know, two hundred dollar liability, maybe two hundred and twenty, maybe two hundred and fifty if you find a good match yeah, on yeah. a ten dollar horse up to twenty five bucks. All of a sudden now on like a thir- like three o'clock on a Thursday afternoon. I've I've just lobbed a fifty dollar bonus bet on a thousand dollars like yeah, for a thousand dollars liability one and, and, and like, it's the and price is completely wrong yeah and a hundred percent and so they've looked at that and they've gone something's up yeah um and the the other thing that then hooked me is I was in a bet with mates group that had been started up and I had contributed nothing to that bet bet with mates group I'd never deposited mm-hmm. I'd never put a bet in there I'd never engaged in the chat right the boys just pulled me into it and they said, hey, do you want to be part of it? I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever, I'll have a look. And, you know, if anything decent comes up, then, you know, that I can use as a mug or whatever, you know, if someone wants to put a sick multi on, I'll just copy it for five bucks. But I never did. I never, ever looked at it. Um, And that was the other thing that, like, they're like, you've been in this bet with mates group for, like, six weeks and you've contributed. They said that to you? He didn't say it outright, but they just said that your activity in the, like, your activity in the bet bet with mates group doesn't line up. And I was like, oh, okay, like fair enough. And I was like, can you? And, and that's when I started. Ha- I think I can't remember his name. I think it was Jared or something. But that's when I started hammering. And I'm like, can you email that to me? I'm like, that's really weird. Yeah, they won't email that. And he, and he was just like, look, you've already had your email. Like, yeah. you know, it wasn't. It wasn't so much of that side of it, but it was the liability thing is what sent up the red flag. And then when they've looked into my account, they're yeah. like, you're hitting promos every Saturday. Yeah. Yes, you're mugging around it. Yes, you're putting on horse promo. But you're not that, engaging horse in the degenerate stuff that your mates. Yeah, in that but group. like yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't putting, I wasn't putting on like you know the ten leg multis. I wasn't engaging with like my mates in the chat and all that sort of stuff. So they're like, well, why are you even in the group? Like, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, you've lobbed this thousand dollar liability bet on, bang, and it's gone. And like, like I said, that whole weekend, I was like, what do I do? Like, <laughs> so that they would be able. To, I know they've just launched that chat feature. How long ago? Like a month. Two months? Yeah. The chat feature surely wasn't then. No, no, no. Uh, it's, it, was it's just li- it was literally just- You could still no like activity. react to your mate's bets and like- Yeah. You know, so that's interesting. They they probably, probably your free tip that I have no idea would be sort of correct, but I'm using logic here. I don't fucking talk about match betting in a bet with mate's chat. Probably. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, obviously not. Obviously, obviously not, but I'm just thinking that. logically now, I don't probably mention anything I, you don't want I think, to see in that. I think it, I think it was more- like the liability. It, it looks, yeah. The liability was the red flag. <clears throat> I think the, I think the bet with mates thing. I, I guess it's more just a warning to just kind of confirmed there. them that that you weren't a genuine mug. Yeah, even that's, though yeah, your that's, activity that's was exactly even it. though your activity like, yeah. was mug enough. Yeah, it's like it's he's like, taking it's, this really sharp price on a Thursday afternoon. That's like he's this, not being a mug in this group. Yeah, I, I, and I think that's that's what it is. And like it's pr- it's probably a warning to everybody out there. It's like you know I'm in a I'm in a bet with mates group with three other guys, and like they're putting through multis on a Friday night. They're betting head to head, they're betting lines on the weekends and, and that sort of stuff. And I'm doing those, you know, as as my hedge betting around it and all that sort of stuff. But I'm also throwing 50 bucks on a $20 horse on a yeah. Thursday afternoon. I'm tipping into the promo bets on a Wednesday. Yeah. I'm yeah, you know, I'm I'm betting on, you know, dollar sixty favorites on Monday afternoon. And they're looking at that and they're like, the and this thing, is the thing you like, are you are the odd one out in that group. Well, what are you doing? Also, you what you probably haven't thought of as well is there would be software out there, e.g., other services that would have identified that as a bonus turnover on Sportsbet. Yeah. And you would have had 40 people also place the bet on that. So yeah, potentially possibly. you've been linked to another software that doesn't consider yeah. to the level we teach with sustainability. And ultimately, I'm not saying this is what happened, but when that happens, you can almost guarantee that a hundred match betters have taken that as well elsewhere, yeah. um, which you want to sort Especially of stay away Especially when the price is like that wrong. When it's like that that's wrong, a, that's correct. A, that's a, that's a yeah. cash off. I wouldn't go near yeah. near that essentially on a Thursday or a Friday. On a Saturday, maybe, um, but, but because it's probably hundreds less of other people. Find something like that correct, because it's so quick. And that's, volume market. That's, that's kind of the big lesson, right, is yeah. like, again, I was turning my bonuses over during yeah. the week, 
you know, Monday, Tuesday, like I didn't care what day it was. I'd, I'd be like, all right, cool. I've got half an hour between meetings at work. Yeah. Let me have a look. Oh, yeah, cool. You know, race seven at Terralgan. You know, here's a $15 horse and it's $16 on Betfair. Bang, bang, yeah, let's great. go. Away, we, you know, easy done. And when you're doing $10 bets or, you know, $12.50 or, yeah. you know, $20 bets, they don't care. No, no. But like I said, you, when when you go from doing 10 and $12 bets and you chuck 50 bucks on, it, stupidly, yeah, 100% stupidly, I'm, I am I am 100% certain that if I had to split that bonus mm. and I only put 25 bucks on, I might have been okay. If I split it and only put $10 on, I'd probably still have my sports. Yeah, and there's 100 different, like, theories and stuff and obviously every book is different. Um, but our main goal in especially platinum is I'm not going to tell you like what's in it. We obviously know what's in it, but is to stay off a review, a manual yeah. review from a human. Yeah. No matter how good your patterns are, how good your defense is, if a human looks at your statement, I can almost guarantee that if you've got half a brain, which is what they're trained to do, <clears throat> they will identify a match better's patterns. No matter yeah. how fucking good your defense is, the aim is to stay off that manual review. So yeah. obviously there's hundreds of different tips that we have with that, but um, for like a sports bet, probably that liability has triggered a human who is trained to look and they just straight away just say, yeah, yeah match better. That's it. Another good point as well, we harp on massively at the system as well. It's like once you get to a unit size of 25 bucks or more, yes. if you don't have the platinum squad knowledge, you're just a sitting duck. Yeah. And that, even though you had the platinum squad knowledge, you know what you did wrong, whatever, you didn't follow potentially all the instructions. But the reality is what you've just said there, that is why if you don't understand the more advanced defense and sustainability yeah. or the pattern stuff, you start hammering fifty dollar promos out of nowhere because you work out how valuable match betting is. Yeah, you're gone. Yeah, like, yeah. you're not lasting two months. So, yeah. again, you learn the lesson, and you can either go and fucking sook about it and never match bet again, or you go, shit. This is why we do X, Y, Z. This is why we're looking after our accounts. This is why yeah. the boys say do this, whatever. And then you just apply that to your, you know, the other thirty five accounts. Yeah, that you can and there'd be people exactly. sitting here that will just fully not not believe. That that's real, but good luck. Like literally, yeah. we tell you this because we don't want your accounts banned. Yeah. If you want I to love, get banned and learn the hard way, you can do that. I love coming in to brag about getting yeah. banned on sports. Like, <laughs> the other thing as well, yeah, though, how long was that? So six months. How much money have you made since then? Because uh, so, so since since that point uh, in total, obviously including the the sports system, yeah, which just we'll everything talk about next. So in total from there, it's probably about eleven grand. Yeah. So he's lost his sports 12, bet, twelve grand. Which is arguably probably the best account in a match yeah. betting sense, yeah. probably with tab. Battle tab, yeah. Um, and you still made eleven k. So yeah. for anyone out there who's lost like one account, two accounts, or you like, you've lost your sports yeah. bet in a or few even if you've lost accounts, four. yeah. Like, like I can't, so can't do it anymore. Like, to still bro, make just, money. I mean, this, this is gonna this is gonna sound nuts. And again, like m my story is very very different from a lot of the guys that you've had on. You know that I'm, these kids that are making you know fifty, eighty, a hundred yeah. grand in a year, and they're nuts, and you know they got. 4,000 phones and whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever the fuck they're doing. Right. Like my, I'm, yeah, I'm very, yeah. very different from that. Like to, 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 to give you a, like an idea, I I've opened, I think about 35 bookmakers and I've lost 10 of them. Right. Now a lot of them are the small shit ones, right. It's your swift bet, your boss bet, pun one, two, three, right. Those guys. Cause you, the supplementary ones, you win, you you're getting, win. you're getting the sign up bonus. You look after them for a bid. You can use yeah. some of the racing promos and, it, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden they're just you, there for support. All of a sudden you 500 bucks profit up and they send you an email and say, yeah. thanks very much. Fuck <laughs> off. Right. Like yeah. cheers. See, See ya. <clears throat> but so, I mean, so what, what I then take took, took from that is obviously I have to be a lot more defensive with my accounts. Right. Um, and a, a, I guess a big mindset change for me as well was in not specifically laundering or, or you know, like deliberately, um, you know, trying to filter money out of the accounts. Let's clarify what laundering means. Yeah, if you want to talk about you, laundering. Well, I mean, from my from my understanding or my point of view. I yes, mean, but so like, I, well, yeah, just explain. I, I mean, I'm, 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 again, I'm not an expert. I don't deliberately nah. seek to do this, but there are, again, this is probably more like a, you know, Lenny pro question sort of thing. Um, some of the guys out there will have certain accounts that they will zero off. You know, you put 500 bucks in, you get a 250 or a $500 bonus bet out of it. You spend the weekend rinsing that through into another bookmaker or Betfair. You're able to withdraw the money, you know, as far as bookie A is concerned, you know, Swift Bet is concerned. 
you've just lost 500 bucks, they'll flick you a message and say, oh, you know, bad luck. Do you want to have another crack? Yeah, like, essentially, essentially laundering, what he's referring to, he's not actually laundering money. He's simply saying that he's trying to get money out of bookie A yeah. and into bookie B. And that can be any other bookie you refer to. Bookie A thinks you've lost whatever you put in on Thursday night. So next Thursday, bookie A goes, well, Platinum Pete lost $500 last weekend when we text him. So if yeah. we text him again- he yeah. might put five hundred dollars in again, and so yeah. Bookie A thinks that Platinum Heat is a massive degenerate. That yeah. is essentially the yeah. easiest mug version of. Yeah, but, but that's, what, that's actually what laundering lost the money is. because it's in another. Correct. Yeah. All, all yeah. those bets are hedged at you, Bookie you've B, lost, C, yeah. D, wherever. You, you've lost a percentage to move it from yeah, a correct. Correct. account, and, but. I don't deliberately seek to do that. Yeah. But, but it is something now where if I see the opportunity, I will. So yeah. you know, hypothetically, if I'm if I'm doing my my hedged betting, um, you know, and I would normally put a $50 bet on, but I've got $80 in the account, then I'll just load up all 80. Yeah. Right. I used to just put the 50 on and, or, you know, the 40 on or the 30 on or whatever it was to kind of keep around like the units that I've been doing and, you know, keep it kind of roughly in line. But now, yeah, if I see that opportunity, I'll, I'll go, okay, I'll, I'm prepared to risk, you know, not risk. I'm, I'm prepared to lose two or three know, bucks another, more. another couple of dollars more yeah. to have this yeah. account hit zero because in the long run, when, if you know, if and when a review ever then gets triggered on that account, they're gonna look at it and be like, Well, over his lifetime, this guy's deposited two grand into his account. We're happy for him to keep going because who cares? We've got his money. Yeah, it's a tough game because a lot of people got themselves a little bit stuck with laundering. Originally with platinum, we did push it much more. We've yeah. gone away from it now because there's a lot of negative things that can happen. E.g., your bankroll gets eaten up, you have yeah. to top up your bet fare. Two, the probably the main one that people forget is it actually it's emotional. Yeah, it makes you become a gambler in a yeah. sense of like a hundred you are 100%. looking at the result of that horse losing or yep. that match and you're essentially riding it. And if it I've, loses or wins, you're gonna be yeah, either happy, really happy or fucking, fucking I've, I've, pissed off. I've a hundred percent done it. There's We've been, all done it. Like and then you there's, Yeah, there's there's been AFL games where, like I said, you know, I've got eighty dollars in the account yeah. and you know, there's a four dollar outsider and you can get, you know. I can get 3% on managing yeah. it. And it's like, perfect. You know, Carlton should 100% beat the yeah. Gold Coast, right? Like whatever it is, that, that'll that happen. Gold Coast paying $4.20. I can get on Carlton at whatever it is. And, you know, it's it's 3%. Bang, bang, bang. Away you go. And then, I mean, not that, not that it actually happened on the weekend, but then, you know, you go and you check the scores and it's like, oh shit, the Gold, like Gold Coast are 40 points up. Yeah, and you're like, that, that account's not going to go to zero. It's about to blow up. Yeah. And then you're like, I really need to get it to zero. I have to now. I'm gonna to have to put on like like if if I want to zero off that account, yeah. you know, I have to go and put on like six more bets. Yeah, and if I'm doing that at five percent, and it's like yeah, it's, now it's not now it's not profits. worth it. And yeah. it's like all of a sudden, yeah, you've chomped away your profit. So yeah. yeah, it's not something that I actively try and do, but if but if if I see the opportunity to do it, yeah, I'll I'll take the shot because yeah, again, it, it feels good to zero off the account. Yeah, and, and kind you, of be like, yeah, I look like a loser now. Hundred percent. You, you can't control the outcome of any anything in the in world. Yeah. Like, fucking AFL horse, good luck. Like you're not in control of that result. Yeah. So great in, in at the start of Platinum and personally I used to do it with AFL because I had a bigger bankroll. I didn't care if I had to top up my bet fair. Like I literally had all my money was in match betting. So yeah. if I lose 5K on bet fair and it ends up in sports bet, I knew I was just going to top up again and work my way around things and do it. But I wouldn't recommend doing that Full stop anymore. Yeah. Do do you well, do we your non promos? Commission was half what it is correct, now. Correct, and we had AFL discounts. We had discount. We had two and a half percent commission. Correct. So it was like I mean, doing like one percent commission. Percent, like yeah, yeah. I mean, it's funny. Like, obviously, I wasn't around for that. Yeah, it's funny. I, I wasn't around for those days. But like, even something as small as like I know through Betfair, like the uh, the the percentage on like South Australia races just went from five to seven percent. Yeah, and like even just like the little mental tick because it used to be you know if it's like oh it's Friday night and you've got you know races at packing them but you've also got races you know at murray bridge or whatever yeah, it is for south australia or whatever they yeah, yeah. yeah i'd be like oh well sweet i'm just gonna focus on the south australian races because it's cheaper why not it's yeah. cheap it's cheaper and now you look at it and it's like all right well there's no difference and that's eating into yeah. it and like i know there's talk that potentially like they might all go to 10 percent oh i mean like, is always complaining and people always complaining about like the percentages being like, like, like more profit and so yeah but i mean at, at the end of the day like when you're turning over your bonuses and again like you know He's, he's my shill for Platinum Squad. If you're not in the Platinum Squad and you're turning over your bonuses at, you know, 60, 65% or whatever it is on sports, like that's fantastic. Like if- Better than punting it. But it's, it's 100%. It's better than punting it, right? You, you, you're clawing it back and like that's, you know, that's part of how we make our profit. But like when you're in the Platinum Squad and you have to, you have to take a race in Sydney, it's 10%. 
on on commission and you're like, oh no, I only made 72% on my bonus turnover. I'm like, man, that sucks. <laughs> and you're like, but it could be worse. Like I could have, I could have only yeah. made 65% and I could have spent like the afternoon hunting. Yeah, that's for, the thing. Hunting for you like don't a have random- to, You don't have to hunt. I yeah, think, I, you know, that's I could, the time. I, like, I could have spent an hour hunting for a I'm, random MLB game that yeah, had the yeah. right odds for me to do yeah. that on. Or I could spend- You make more profit in less time. I could literally spend 10 minutes, look at three races and go, there it is, bang, bang. Yeah, and, yeah. Whatever, to be honest, that actually, I reckon, has more negative impact of you searching for the result and searching for the Dutch that drains you energy, yeah. fucking zapping time, and then you just can't be fucked. And then yeah. you punt the next one. And then you got to do it. Then you got to do it for like, your, your it's, defense. Like you got to yeah. do it for sustainability. And eventually like, people get sick of it. And obviously, we're dealing with a lot of people who come into <clears> this $10 unit size, first month, make $150, pay their sub fee, $99. They're like, oh, 50 yeah. bucks first month. We go plus 15 for the month. Like, ah, oh, should I do this again next month? Yeah. Maybe, no. If they get through two, three months, they get to 20 unit size, they double their yeah. profit, then they get to 30, they join platinum, and then they get to 50 and it's like, fuck, now I'm making 2K a month. And I, I think that's the I think that's the hardest mental hurdle yeah, to, get o- to get over is it's it's all well and good it's all well and good to sit here and say, Hey, we went plus, you know, what, what's the average? Like 30 units a month? 29, yeah, 20 grand. 29, 20, 29.8 20, or something. Call it 30, right? So it's, it's all well and good to say we went plus 30 units for the month, right? And again, let's say you're a you're a $10 better, right? So you're up $300. If you're on a monthly subscription, it's cost you what, 100 bucks. Mm. So now you're at $200 profit. And then you've probably got to give back anywhere between what, you know, two and five units, depending on how, how but aggressively- yeah. sign up offers, they would make 10 to 15 yeah, in their yeah, first no, month as well. Uh, yeah, 100, so 100%, goes, right? So you get the sign up offers, right? Yep. So, so when, but when you're, when you're then looking strictly at what has the system done yep. for me on those lower units for the first month, you're yeah. like, I've just spent four Saturdays. Yep. I've, I've, I've pushed these accounts, away I go, and I've made 150 bucks. Mm. Is it worth it? At the time, well, like, yeah, I can understand why people would be like, no. If you do another 12 like, months of that, it's 100% not worth But it's it. like, I, but, but that's where I started. Yeah, right? correct. That's, that's why every, that's everyone why I asked right? to start. It's like, did you start? It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I was doing- It compounds though. Units. Like, like my first, the first, the first month that I, I was doing this was literally just setting up accounts. Yeah. And it, like, if you go back and look at my tracker, it's like, I'm in the hole. <laughs> I've actually I've actually lost money. Like even though I've got deposit offers and signups and things like that. Yeah. It's because I'm like I'm throwing bets on bets on bets you on. You would have been Dutch probably Dutch a bit Dutch. lenient on like not understanding, probably giving away too much, well, like not stingy first, enough on Dutching. The first like day that. I followed, I literally like fired bets off on like three AFL games and a couple of NRL games and like I think I bet on Premier League overnight and all this sort of stuff. Like I yeah. I literally just hammered I, I I think I opened ten or twelve accounts yeah. that first day. Um and put like like you know a couple hundred dollars worth of bets on all of them because i'm like all right let's go you know like let's hit the ground running i got a saturday afternoon and you know the whole weekend and you know let's go and, and smashed it and yeah like the, those first probably two or three weeks like you look at it and it's like i'm down money like i've actually lost money and i haven't even i haven't signed up yet i, like, I haven't paid my subscription fee yet and i haven't started following the system yet but again those then that, that first two or three weeks like you know, people can go back and check my Instagram. Like I, I put up a couple of posts where it's like, hey, you know, we're, we're in profit now. You know, I've made a thousand bucks profit. Mm. You know, I think it took me six weeks or something to hit. Yeah. Six or seven weeks to hit a thousand bucks profit. And then six <laughs> weeks later, we're at three and a half. Yeah. And then nine months after that, we're now at 18K. Yeah. The it's unique- just the <laughs> fucking focus on the long term. Like don't think yeah. about tomorrow, mm-hmm. next week, the month. Think twelve months, the, the, and that's it. The biggest, the biggest mantra that you guys put out that I 100% follow, literally with everything, and like people again that follow me on Insta know that I, I just got back into weightlifting and all that. It's zoom out. Yeah, right? 100%. It's like, you know, when I started, when I started back in the gym three months ago, you know, I was doing 40, 50 kilo squats because you know my knees felt like shit and I hadn't lifted weight or anything like that. And it's like, and now I'm completing like ten sets at 100 kilos, uh, t- ten reps at 100 yeah. kilos. And it's like three months ago. Like no way, not a yeah. chance. Like if I would, I would have, I would have racked it and dropped it and broke my back and <laughs> like been done, and and never wanted to go back to the gym again. It's like yeah, but you got to like zoom out, yeah. right? Like stop. It's just think about where game. you want to get to. Everything's long. The game. other thing that's different because you were in a unique position when you started is that you weren't a gambler and you weren't yeah. betting. So you're saying like, you know, when I started, I oh, was setting up all these accounts. I was yeah. probably like a hundred, two hundred bucks down over the first couple of weeks, yeah. setting them all up and stuff. 
the reality is for a lot of punters in that two week period, they're probably losing more than a hundred, two hundred dollars. Yeah. So even if they are disciplined, structured, setting everything up, and they maybe haven't made any profit yet, it's like. But if they weren't punting, yeah. So they haven't lost their two, three hundred bucks on the punt. Plus, they're setting themselves up for this upside to come. So yeah. you're in a un- unique position. Is over the last twelve months, you made eighteen grand. Fantastic. But if you didn't do this. You wouldn't be down any money, yeah, yeah, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't Whereas the average anything. punter, if they lose, even if they're just losing fifty bucks a week, yeah. instead of making eighteen grand over the next twelve months, they would have lost two and a half k. Yeah. So if they're in your position, they're actually twenty two, twenty k, twenty one k. Yeah, that's better right. off than they would be, and that's yeah. the stuff that they people don't really think about because they look at the profit or they get so consumed. People that join, they're like, "Fuck, bro, I'm two weeks in, yeah, and I've made forty bucks or whatever." Yeah. It's like, yeah, dude, but have you been punting? You no, lose. I haven't. So you haven't yeah. lost anything. So has, has your mindset changed as well? You haven't been doing that habit 50 times. Yeah, even if you don't sub for yeah. the rest of the next 12 months, but then you every time you go to bet, you're like, fuck. It'll come the other way too. JP rinsed me for fucking mug gambling, so I might no, not do that. And then it's like, cool. Yeah. Like you just wake up. There's so much more upside to just like nah, stick yeah. at something for a little bit of period of time. But it'll also compound the other way because if you if you keep doing fucking multi every week, I guarantee you'll start doing more multis. In a bigger stakes, time, bigger stakes, bigger collects, fucking more of them. Start yeah, chasing yeah. the dopamine hit. You'll hit one. You'll win. Maybe you win five hundred dollars from one. Then yeah. the next time you want to win ten k, and you you'll never be satisfied, and yeah. you'll just keep going the other way, and I, then you're I, fucked. I actually, like obviously, because I you know you talk about it and trends and algorithms and all that sort of stuff. I had one come up on uh, Instagram the other day and it's a guy, uh, I can't remember the name of the account, but it's a guy he's sitting at a blackjack table and he like, it's, it's like reading his thoughts. Right. <clears throat> and he's sitting at this blackjack table and he's like, I'm a hundred bucks up. I'll play one more hand and then I'll leave here even. And so he puts, so he puts a hundred bucks down and the the two cards come out and it's, uh, it's two eights. Right. And so he's like, ah, well, I can't he miss this. I can't miss this opportunity. So he splits them, right? And then, like uh, on one of them, on one of them he gets delta two, and one of them he gets delta three. And he's like, ah, oh, well, I can't miss this opportunity. So, I'll, like, I'll double down for the one card, right? Like, I'll take the one card hit, and then he gets dealt like another two and another three. And he's like, oh. so now he's down like four hundred bucks, bucks or whatever yeah. it is, right? And and then he's he played five hundred on the last hand. Yeah, and then it, and then it cuts back to him, and he goes, and he like he looks at his stack, and he goes. Well, I can't end on a loss. So he puts another hundred bucks down and the cards get dealt again. Right. And it's like, it's a hundred percent what people do. Oh. He was going to play one more here. He could have left with a hundred bucks. Right. But he's like, oh, I'm playing with house money. Right. So I'll put, I'll put the hundred bucks down and people do. Right. We, we see it in the, in the community, like in the, in the chat and, and it's not as bad as it used to be, but like even in the chat now, when we have a losing day, like you have those one or two people that chirp up and they're like, Oh shit! We're seven units down for the day already. Like, yeah, just like, bad day. like whatever. Like, bad terrible day. start. Yeah, yeah. Fuck terrible off. Terrible start. <laughs> terrible start. You have one or two. I think there was one of those on Saturday. And you have one or two plus pe- nine or whatever. There, there was one guy. There was one guy in there that literally jumped in and was like, "Guys, we're nine units down. Should we just pull the pin? Yeah, we like should, that in the vlog. Should we just stop? Yeah. And it's like, well, no, because we could lit- we could go six for six on the next six. We races. went ne- like, negative no. thirteen, but then yeah. we went plus twenty nine the next six days. <laughs> So that, that, that's exactly it. But it's it's when that, do you know when to start and stop? Yeah, you don't. So just fucking follow it. That's it. It's <laughs> it's that it's that gambler's mindset of yeah. It's hard. You know, we're losing, so we need to stop. Or that, we're winning, so I'm going to bump up my unit size. That losing day we had is elite. I wanted that for ages. Yeah. Sounds dumb, but we need that <laughs> because we had eight weeks in a row. The system was literally profit, profit, profit. Wednesday two units, Saturday eight units. Wednesday, three units, six yeah. units, and then it's just like minus 13 and it just wakes people up and makes them realize there was an elite discussion yesterday in the Discord, put out a couple of questions. One, what do you think about that day? How did you feel about it? Three weeks later. Two, did you change the way you thought about it? How do you feel about it now? And three, um, do you think it's actually made your mindset stronger? And like five people just said, yeah. didn't do anything about it, couldn't give a fuck, forgotten about it now, 100%. Now I've seen a losing day like that. I needed yeah. to have it. So. You need to have them because as an investor, you, you can't expect to win 100% of and days. I think that's where the, like, the, lo- the long-term you know, subscribers come in and like shout out to, to Harry Potter. Yeah. The uh, the spreadsheet wizard. Yeah. Like, I, I've talked with him privately a fair bit. Um, yeah, he's a he's, legend. He's an absolute yeah. beast. I, I, I think he's an accountant or something in, yeah. in real life, but he's like an Excel master. Yeah. Um, but like I saw you guys highlighted, like he jumped in there and he's like, guys, I'm f- like, this is the worst day I've ever had. Yeah, I'm, like, like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Five or six hundred dollars yeah. down, but I don't give a shit no. because um you know whatever it is like X well, since that day of dollars he was like six hundred down that day, but now he'd be plus three k since that yeah. day. So who cares on his unit size? Yeah, that's because he but he knows he's been there for fucking twelve oh, eighteen months. He just knows that's going to happen. That's part of the like the growth in the community that we've seen over the last twelve months. Like I know when I first first started, 
there's probably almost a 50 50 split between people who were like yeah. okay whatever that was a shit race uh, like what are you doing jmac like get out of there like yeah. you know pe- people that were frustrated and, and riding at home and then on the you know on the flip side like also you know we'd get the head bob or you know some horse would be like you know three three wide coming around the bend and then win it by six lengths and you know we'd all be going off and we'd love it and then the other half of the community would be like oh we well, got lucky on that one or yeah, yeah. you know oh the you know the, the favorite had a shit run or you know you guys don't know what you're doing like oh, anybody can tip the you know the two favorites in every race and make a profit and that kind of thing and i think what we've seen over the last 12 months is like there's a there's a lot less people jumping in just to shit can it and, and a lot less people jumping in well, they get rinsed now too- by other people, not us. Yeah, that's so it. It's but like it's, but it's more, we don't have to they're, just they moderate they're scared the to chats moderated but it's themselves. Not, but it's not even it's yeah. not even it's not even it's not even people rinsing them in like an aggressive no way. no no, like no, no. Like like, like, stick at it. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like dude, t- yeah. Take, I wrote take, to someone take last a week. Like, I wrote yeah. someone last week. I'm like, dude, you'll laugh at this comment in six months if you're still here. Yeah. Like yeah, you will laugh at it because you're like, fuck, what was I thinking? Yeah. But I think that's been like a massive, massive shift. Like even just in the 12 months that I've been here yeah. is like the way that the community gets around each other. And even when you have like those people where they're like, you know, oh, this is my first day and it, you know, this kind of sucked. Like, yeah. you know. But, and then everyone's like, you know, sticky. There's 1,100, there's 1100 people now it, combined. So that's a lot of people. Um, yeah. and, it, and compound, like we learn shit every day in yeah. the community and people. The new discord is elite. Yeah, it's Like fun. it's humming. Everyone's yeah. helping each other. That was our weakest so part sick, yeah. of our whole I guess the platinum squad was that, and yeah. Lenny and uh, James have pulled that out of their ass for two months and yeah, built yeah, that. It's, and it's, it's actually so completely good to changed. See. Like it's humming every day. Like yeah. I love the engaging and they're helping each other. I'm making money here. The bookie lists. Yeah, yeah. how people are getting the banned. Bots, yeah. All the things you can sick. fill out. So sick. But it's yeah. also like if you are like we've had a, a number of people um, across the board. Like, and we even people who aren't members come to us and sort of think they know everything, um, which is a pretty shit. Um, trait to have as a human like if you think you know everything about anything like you, you're an yeah. idiot like you're literally an idiot because yeah. we've been match betting and doing this for 10 years and we'll never know everything it's yeah. like when you play chess or a musical instrument you'll never know everything so if you have a closed mind and don't want to learn off anyone whether that be someone younger than you someone older than you someone with i don't know a different bankroll to you or a different job like you're an idiot because yeah. you always learn off someone else yeah. and if you if you think you can't then grow up yeah. Like essentially, that's so why the come, Discord is so yeah, so elite like, for even like members like yourself who've been yeah. here for twelve months. Like <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm speaking to this guy privately, or these people are in my DMs or whatever. Like yeah. you meet those people because you're in there and yeah, they have a similar that's, interest that's to it. you, and being they're doing the to, same thing. And you can just take bits and pieces of like what I, they're doing. Like yeah. I said, man, be, being able to reach out to like to certain people that you you kind of learn and understand in the chat. You know, people that are saying, hey, I'm trying this, I'm doing that, yada yada yada. Um, you know, just being able to flick him a message and be like, hey, can you give me a bit more detail on, you know, um, like I guess we'll talk about the sports system that you guys have started up. Like, you know, I I didn't understand or, or know uh, anything about like middle bets and things like that, right? And so when the sports system started up um, and, you know, we're putting on sports multis and we're putting on promo bets with sports and not just horses now and all that sort of stuff, um, there are a couple of guys in the chat that are like, oh, hey, here's, a, here's an opportunity. Hey, there's an opportunity. And like, I looked at it and like, you know, you can go back and look through the, the, the telegram at first and then the discord. I looked at it and I'm like, I don't get it. Like I've never, yeah, done it's not I've something that we this, I've never done this before. Well in platinum. No, no, no. And a hundred percent, but that's where the benefit of the community mm. comes into it. Right. Like if, if I was just, if we were all anonymous and we were all just receiving the tips and, and, you you, you and we didn't talk to each yeah. other. Right. I'd never know. And I'd never learn about it. Yeah. Right. Or you guys would have, like you said, 1100 people flicking your message and being like, <laughs> yeah, good luck. Hey, how do I do this? Hey, how do I do this? What's this? I've read about this. I saw this on Instagram dah, dah, dah. and you guys would just be swamped. But, to, to have like experienced people in the community who are like, hey guys, here's an opportunity for, you know, a, a two-way bet. Here's an opportunity for like a, a, a multi that we can hedge. Here's an opportunity for this, that, and the other. And I can look at it and go, I don't understand it. Let me flick you a DM and go like, hey mate, you put this in the chat. How does it work? You're like, can you explain the math to me? Explain what I need to do. Can I scale it up? Can I do it across multiple bookies? Like, how does it work? And then to be able to take that and go, excellent, I've now got, another layer of my defense. I've got another layer of sustainability. I've got always looking for layers of layers and Uh everything. Yeah. A hundred percent. And like I said it when, when the sports system first started up, um, I don't know, you guys have got multiple groups running now, obviously, you know, for sustainability, we we all don't want to be linked together with the same bets and the same accounts and that sort of stuff. Correct. 
as much profit and, and as much as you can scale the, the the horse side of things and do that, like for someone like me who has never really been gambling before, I don't have a heap of time to sit there every Saturday and do the horses and all that. Like for me, like the sports system is like the best thing that you guys have ever done because it's all like obviously platinum squad stuff, right? Like you're probably not going to understand it or, or make it work to your benefit without understanding platinum and, and the defense no, you and that sort of won't. stuff. That's why we only made it for platinum squad <clears throat> yeah. members. A hundred percent. But but for me, it's it's one of those things where like I literally had no idea how to use any of that. Like I've watched I've watched the the, the, the stuff, you know, I've, I've read through it. I've got a bit of an idea of like, okay, there's a promo. Here's what I can do. But knowing like the legs to put on and how you guys – uh, you know, find like the value in that. And that's that's the sort of thing where someone like me, you know, when those tips come through and I know that I can just place them through the day as needed as the events are coming up. It's like, that's like, again, uh, for me, it's like, that's um, like the best thing that you guys put out. I remember like, early awesome. days as well. Um, there's a few teething issues like, you know, like with everything we're learning, as JB said, we're always learning better ways that we can do things, ways yeah. that we can make things run smoothly, whatever. But I remember early days as well, you were like, and you wrote something in the telegram when you were like, fuck, early days, boys, some of those legs or some of those pets. I was <laughs> yeah. like, fuck, I don't know where, like what the fuck you're thinking <laughs> where, or where, where did this you, come from? Where you've pulled them from. Illusion and you're a bit of expertise. Like, ben, ben, ben King has been a source <laughs> and of you're, Yeah, and, you, and like there'd be people in there like, oh, like I can't believe we've backed this player or, oh, you've got him again, like another player, same yeah. week, like whatever. And then it was like, then you wrote something else and you're like, fuck, you know, three or four months ago, I was like, where the fuck have you pulled these from? And now, yeah. like, you don't even question I, what's I coming through. I don't care. You're just, you're just placing them, and then yeah, your bonus exactly. comes back. You turn it over, and yeah, that's exactly, another yeah. good, like, just to show like the growth that you've had, and so many other people well, in the sport chat with the same way. I mean, a hundred percent right. And you, you guys talk about the illusion of expertise, and like, I won't go into specifics. Obviously, last time we caught up, I talked about another service that I followed as part of like my mugging and all that sort of stuff. Was was betting on basketball. I didn't really know anything about NBA. Followed it casually. So I didn't think anything of like the bets. I didn't know the players or the the lines or anything like that. I didn't care. When we started the sports system, um, I'm a massive AFL nut, massive like AFL statistics nut. Um, you know, without bragging, I am in my ultimate footy uh grand final fan, fantasy grand final next week. <laughs> it's the six my sixth grand final in twelve years. Suck it, Boydie. Um <laughs> and and so like I like I'm a nut for that sort of thing, right? I love, love, love. AFL and fantasy football, right? Like love the sport, love the game, follow it, you know, pretty intently. And so, yeah, when those bets are coming through, I'm like, you guys are, what is yeah, this? What is like, like you have lost your mind with this line. Like no way is this is this worth yeah. betting there on. There was a few comments early <laughs> days, but. And now, well, now I mean, you know, we're what, six months in <laughs> and like personally, 5K in your pocket personally again, I'm, I'm about, f- I'm a bit over four grand that up. That group's six right. plus 6.5. Yeah. yeah and so like and so, yeah and so again like to to to, to reiterate that yeah like the group we're in yeah I think it's yeah it's a bit over 6 grand total but you know again for sustainability purposes you know when a bet comes through you know if we if we've got you know over a weekend we might have five multis that we put on say tab yeah right as as you know as as an example um I'm not going to max all of them out because obviously if I'm sitting there and you know and I I might put say 10 multis on tab you know five promo five non promo and if I'm putting you know, five maxed out promos on, and then I'm putting on five, five or ten dollar, you know, hero multis as we call them in the group. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's obviously going to look really strange. So there are times when you know those bets will come through, and I'm 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 not going to put fifty dollars on. I'll only put thirty on, or I'll, yeah, I'll put thirty five. But this is a this is a perfect adjusted. example of why this is a platinum squad product only. Oh uh, yeah, because you need you need <laughs> to know, and you need you need to know where your account's at as well. And I think that's a big thing because obviously there's 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 a range of bookies and where it's where it's very different from the horses is with the horses, you can kind of pick and choose. So if you know your tab accounts like on the edge, you can say, look, I'm not going to use that today. There's 12 you know, other bookies. Yeah, it's a super yeah, advanced there's, there's method. You said something before about like, it's just like a, oh yeah, do this and add this line. If only it was that simple. Like Lenny's obviously doing the whole tipping. He's done it since day one. He's a beast. Um, and he he sits there every sort of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, doing it all. Um, I can't imagine the hours that he must put yeah. in just looking. But like for stats you, and Saturday, spreadsheets. So he goes hard Saturdays. Oh, um, yeah, tipping for you though. You're just sitting there and you just place the bet. Like I literally don't have to. If you it. had to try and do that on your own, like good luck because yeah, you'll start like if you don't have a, a proven method over twelve months that you have results for yeah. There's a 100% chance that emotion will leak into I mean, that. it's all personal bias. And you'll start like, yeah, getting yeah, waste of energy. Right? 
like you have these own ideas which no one's keeping you accountable for. Yeah. You then start doing it yourself. We've had numerous members who've unsubbed from like the system yeah. come back to us in six months and say, hey, I tried to do this on my own and Blew up. I lost all my money because yeah. I just got yeah, comfortable. Yeah, uh, 100%, just- right? And, and again, like we took the illusion of expertise. If I had have just taken that and then gone off and done it by myself, like there's no chance I'd be anywhere close to the profit that I've made following the tips from you guys. But yeah. it's not even about the profit. It's more so like you would just make those emotional mistakes yeah. or those like well, bias where it's like- we'll never oh, teach something like that that complex yeah to to like someone random because yeah it's impossible to know whether that person has the correct mindset yeah. whether they have the correct bankroll like it's an assumed 5k bankroll um service yep. as well it's assumed full bet fair knowledge it's assumed full sustainability yeah. knowledge there's a number of sort of prerequisites that are assumed that we have just said all right these guys platinum we could launch this to a thousand people yeah and make 10 times the amount but we don't want that because we guarantee you that all those people probably won't make burned. profit. We, we just know the 90 that are in the two services are going, going to properly. follow everything to a T yeah. and therefore the results that we're showing they're going to get. Yeah. Whereas if we launch that to the general public even yeah. for half the price, A, there's no way that they're going to have their accounts come the end of the season. Yeah. Plus, as you said, they're – they won't follow bets because they'll be like, what the fuck? Who is this player? Why, yeah, why have yeah. they picked this team? What is yeah. this line? This guy's not going to score a try. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah, like yeah. all yeah. these personal biases, they're just not going to do it because they don't know us. They don't know our content. They don't know us. You know, yeah. they don't trust it. So it would be it would be nice to show people that, but it's a hard yeah, one. Fair. Leaving them to their own devices, that it would fair. be a disaster. From, from a like, business standpoint too, like we've had internal convos. Like this is pretty like transparent here. Like we've had convos where – Certain members of our team have said, like, why the fuck aren't we making, like, five times the amount by giving this to the public? And yeah. it's, like, because we want to keep it it's not, exclusive yeah, to reward work. Platinum members. And even when people, like, tried to jump in, um, I don't know, six weeks into the other system, to the first system, yeah, we didn't say, all right, you're going to get, like, a discounted rate because you're six weeks in. Like, we want to reward the people yeah, who said, course. I want to pay that. It's a fixed rate. Like it's not a sub. Yep. So they pay that one-off fee. If you come in 10 weeks and say, I want to join now when you could have joined before, yeah. you're not getting it discounted because you should have joined back then. And then the, that's disrespectful to the people who paid the yeah, full amount. So it's a hard one. And ultimately we had 54 people, 50 people join the the first one within 48 hours. That closed. Yep. We said 50 spots. Um, that, that was closed. Then we had too much interest. We then launched it again, separate tips about 12 weeks in. Um, yep. And we had like 37 join that. Um, and we'll obviously keep doing it um, with promos. Maybe summer, I'm not sure, depending on what happens, but yeah. definitely for AFL and NRL next year. But it's been a massive sort of, like you said, there's certain people who don't want to sit on the laptop all day. It's a different way. It's, a, it's just diversifying income. Especially the, the people that are playing footy that can't yeah. follow the horse the footy system. Followers, huh? yeah. They absolutely love the sports system because yeah. it's like it's the Saturday mids. players will come out at like 11 a.m., yeah. 12, whatever, midday. They get them on for the rest of the day or they know, oh, cool, these are tips for 7 p.m. tonight. Yeah. So I'm not, I don't when have to I get worry. Home. I'm playing footy. I'll get home. And play it's home closer towards like a passive set and forget investment, whereas yeah. the system's more 20 bets, active investment. No more than 20 bets a week. Yeah. Like yeah. no more than, I think it's three bets per bookie. Like, yeah. We, we try and play our part in the sustainability, but again, we're still backing you guys in to be looking after your accounts. Correct. And to yeah. also know, like you said, sometimes you'll know that there's a bet for tab, but you'd be like, fuck, my tab account's probably not well, in great order uh, for me to place it. So you'll either let it slide or yeah. change the stake. Well, I mean- and, and An uh, average person wouldn't be able to do that. The the other the other part of it as well, like part of why you know, perhaps my profit doesn't line up with what you guys do is I don't have a sports bet account. Mm. You know, And there's probably at least one, maybe two yeah. bets- Every week that come through on sports bet, and I look at it and I'm like, you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a hard one. That yeah. looks that you know, that's a line I like. That's that's a juicy one. But do I really want to put like my seventh multi on my tab account? Yeah. And, and and I've got to go find another line because they're four legs, not three. Or do I really want to have? Yeah. To and use- then you start. This is what I mean. Then you start inventing stuff or making shit yeah. up. And this is do, what people that don't have do I really want to- your skills would do. And yeah. It would be a fucking disaster. Yeah. A hundred percent. It's like, do you really want? To, like, I've got one Ned's token. Do you really want to go and use it on this? Like when maybe your account's not set up well, for it or like- I you know, used to do this position. early in Platinum. We actually launched a tiny group, like probably we had 20 members and we were actually tipping same game multis. Yeah. And I'll be flat out honest. Like I was doing them myself and I was changing what I was doing based on like like experience and results and yeah. inventing shit. And I'm someone who's like fucking robot when it comes yeah. to investing. <laughs> so if I'm having those struggles with sticking to a process, imagine someone who's brand new to it. Yeah, crazy. Like gambling tendencies, good luck, like legit good luck. Yeah. So I think um, we're already hour in or so, hour 10. You yeah. have a couple of different things, 
questions. Yeah, let's from run people. through a few of the questions yeah, that you've got. And you've got some, Brownie uh, as well. We'll leave that to last. I definitely yeah, yeah, good old Brownie. <laughs> yeah. But um no, yeah, I obviously reached out to uh to a couple of my mates as well as everybody on Instagram about some questions. Yeah. Some might uh we haven't we haven't screened these by the way. You guys no, no, run through them. Okay. So, we can cut out whatever, so, so it doesn't yeah, cool. Can you um, read that? Yeah, yeah, I can read them pretty good. Yeah. Um, so the first one actually comes from a mate of mine who wanted to stay anonymous, um, but he sort of had a look at how it all works and, and the system he doesn't follow, but, you know, whatever. So his, his question to you guys is, how is it that we, quote, unquote, fuck the bookies when most of our profit comes from turning over bonuses on Betfair? That's a good question. Well, the way that I would respond to that is that the all of the value from our service comes from the free money that the bookmakers are giving us. Yeah. So if the bookmakers didn't give us that opportunity for free money and to turn that bonus bet into said free money, then you know we're not taking we money off the bookies. The like, way not- that we would if there was no bonus bets and promos, like yeah. we've made these services because they're there. Not it's free edge that the bookie is giving us yeah. that they're giving because they know that 95% of punters are just going to use that to bet more. I yeah. think what he's trying to say as well, he probably assumes that the bookie's gambling on the bonus as well. No, now, I don't so- know their bots and how their mathematics works, but they're not sitting there just like so on I- a bonus. Would they, they'd hedge it. Like how are they? Well, so, they're just balancing their books. So I, I didn't, just, yeah. I didn't clarify this for him at the time. And again, you can edit around this however you want. Yeah, I didn't clarify this for him at the time, but um, I didn't explain to him that the bookies are also on Betfair. Correct. That's oh, like, that's yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. That's, that's where we're taking it yeah, from, yeah. right? Is is yeah? He's looking. They're not at gambling. It, <laughs> yeah. So, so he's looking at it as okay. Yes, you you put a you put a fifty dollar bet on a horse. The horse wins. You've got profit in your yeah, account. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but you're that's not, that's, not too, that's too advanced. Like what I would say to him is like where say for example we make no money off cash and it's only off bonuses. If yeah. you're only two way dutching, yeah, that all of your profit is coming from a bookie. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So that's the part Betfair. that people don't understand. Like people, as soon as you start mentioning Betfair, they're like, how are you fucking the bookies now? And it's like, well, yeah. let's not even dive into the the volumes of money that the bookies are moving <laughs> through Betfair, but just look at it at the most holistic, you know, you get a sign up bonus, you bet that bonus versus another bookie and you've just generated $65 from a hundred dollar bonus for yourself. Yeah. That yeah. has come purely from the bookies. From between those two bookies. Correct. Yeah. So that That's is where exactly you're, right. you're generating all of your additional wealth has come from these two bookies. Yep. Then you do that times 80 times 10,000 bonus and you make seven and a half grand, six and a half grand. You're putting that into your pocket from bookmakers free money that they're giving you. That is yep. how you are fucking them. And that is the opposite of if you put your $5,000 in, get $5,000 worth of bonus bets and then gamble them all and give it all back to the bookie. Yep. So you can either go f- minus 5K or you go plus fucking three and a half and you've pulled all of that, all of that cash, all of that liquidity You've pulled it from the bookie. That's how you are fucking them. But the other thing as well, every bonus doesn't lose. Correct. So sometimes they win. Yeah. So it all comes out, whether it comes Betfair, retail, like Tom said, that the most simplest way is just to go two-way Dutch because it's going to end up in retail. And the other thing I would say to your mate is, is if you were a gambler and we turned you into a match better, the money that you would lose over the next 20 years- yeah, you fucked to the, the bookies. bookies. Yeah. You're not going to lose that. So yeah. you fucked them again. Yeah, you've, 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 net, you've net positive. I like, bucked, I like, I like the, that. Yeah. You've I bucked like the trend. That. Yeah. You've, so you're they, fucking they the bookies because your you're, you're waking up Saturday and you're going, fuck you, I'm not going to give you $200 of my own money. Yeah. Tommy's fired up here. So they're minus no, 200 like, and you're plus 200. <laughs> but this, yeah. the reason I get fired up about this question is like, people will be like, oh, you're just taking money off all the punters off Betfair or whatever yeah, like that. That's, that's and it's it. like, dude, you have been so conned by the bookies <laughs> that instead yeah, of like, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to do match betting. Go Google it if you don't like, you don't believe it's true. Google it. But it's like, dude, I'm on your side. Yeah. Yeah. I'm teaching you and every other punter that's going to lose on Saturday how to win. But you want to attack me yeah. instead of waking the fuck up and stop giving you money. I'll, to the I'll tell everyone right now. Go to I'm in three Facebook groups. Go to blokes and their one leg failures, blokes and their multi wins, <laughs> and blokes and their tips. He's famous. And fucking read the comments. <laughs> No, not mine. Just fucking look at the post of how people's betting IQ is in there. So many it's unlucky. Fucking, so it unlucky. Is, <sighs> like. Bro, it's <laughs> fucked. But hopefully that, like, yeah, that's just that's just a mug it's mindset. So but hopefully those two examples of. You know, bonus versus another bookie cash. Yep. Pull the money out. Bang, you fuck the bookie. I'm not going to lose 100K over my lifetime now. Bang, I fuck the bookie. It's 100K. Yeah. They're not going to get off you. I think those are the two ways that I would look at it. Yeah, perfect. Diving into Betfair on the specifics of yeah, where does a certain dollar factors. come from, like, fuck me. Like, you can do that if you want. Stick Everybody to two-way dutching if you're worried about taking well. money off other punters. Yeah. Like, Nailed it. So that's a, that was oh, a good question. What's the next one? Rinse someone else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're all they're all pretty positive. They're all pretty positive. Take my jacket off now. Uh, so so from Raf Clark on Insta uh, asked me how do I manage my bankroll? How much do I set aside for a new account? 
Um, it's actually a really good question. I it's hard. I hadn't been asked this before. Obviously, you know, everyone's- uh, Is he platinum? I think he is. Everyone's situations are a little bit different. Um, for me, when I started, uh, I had uh, I had a, you know, a fair bit of money saved up in the bank already. Um, you know, like I said, I'm pretty conservative and, and frugal with my cash. Um, in terms of managing my bankroll, um, and and this probably goes into uh, another another question that was asked by Josh, which is uh, how much do I leave in an account when I make a withdrawal, and how often am I making, am I making withdrawals? Um, we'll kind of combine those two. Um, so I'm almost never making a withdrawal on on any account. Um, I have I've probably made one withdrawal at least on every single account that I've done. Um, usually that'll happen when the account's pretty low. So if it gets down to like 30, 40, 50 bucks, something like that, I might pull that 40 bucks out and then a couple of days later, I'll put it straight back in. So to make it look like, okay, cool. I've, I've, you know, I've lost a couple of bets. I need the cash for something, you know, in real life. Uh, now I've got some money back, right? Let me put it back in there and, you know, gamble it away straight away. Um, in terms of managing my bankroll and, and setting up cash for new accounts, um, I think this goes into sort of a, bigger life, you know, philosophy. Um, you know, I long time ago, barefoot investor, um, you know, read sort of about money smarts and that sort of stuff. Um, I go on a bit of a tangent and tell a story. So Tommy and I met uh, about eight years ago now, nine years ago, um, when I, t- I took a job as a, a, in a supervisor role. I was Tommy's boss for a little while. Um, Tommy doesn't actually know this. And I, I get a bit emotional talking about it. Um, that job actually pulled me out of homelessness. So, um, you know, I, I, I still had a roof over my head, but the, the four months before that, um, I'd been going through like a, like a bit of mental health issues, um, literally pulled up to the train station on my way to work, just couldn't get out of the car. I had quit my job, didn't know what the fuck I was doing with my life. And my mother-in-law actually paid all of our bills for four months. So like my car payments, my rent, I was flat broke, like five figures in the hole on cars and debt and all that sort of mm-hmm. stuff. Um, and then I got that job and that kind of set me off on the right path and, you know, I got the help that I needed and, and, and mentally turned it around. And, and a huge part of that was just getting rid of my debt as quick as I could. Um, and obviously there's ways that you can manage debt, you know, to, to your advantage. Um, but it was literally just getting rid of that debt. And then because I was so used to being in debt, from my income point of view, it was now like I had free cash basically. And so now it was like, okay, how do I put that to work, right? How do I get into the stock market? I talked to people about crypto. I, you know, I've talked about this you know, beforehand. Uh, I got into trading cards and all that sort of stuff. And it's like, I've got this spare income now. What do I do with it? So I put some in a savings account, put some in a term investment, put some in the stock market, had some at risk and play with. And so I still that, do that to this day. So every fortnight when my, when my pay comes in, I siphon some off into a long-term investment account. I siphon some off into the stock market. I siphon some off you know, for a rainy day to pay bills. You know, my Mrs. Carr's just going through a whole heap of you know, shit at the moment. So, you know, we're paying a bit of money to get the car fixed and all that, but I've got it there and put aside. And so when I started this up, I did the same thing. And whether it's 20 bucks a week, 50 bucks a week, whatever it is, right. It might mean, you know, you buy one less pack of smokes or, you know, instead of buying a, you know, a slab on the weekend. A couple you, less pints, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Instead of, you know, a couple less multis. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah. You know, instead of buying a slab on the weekend, you buy a 10 pack or whatever it is, you know, when, you, when you're having a few beers with your mates, right? And you, you take those extra couple of dollars and you just set them aside. And then, you know, pretty soon you'll have a hundred bucks or 150 bucks. And it's like, perfect. I can now go to one of these smaller bookies where I know I'm going to get a hundred, hundred deposit match, put 150 bucks in, get a hundred. You know, even if you're not in platinum and you turn that over on an AFL game over the weekend at 65%, it's like, well, you know, fantastic. You, you, the, your interest on the hundred bucks that you've just saved or the 150 bucks you've just saved, right? You've now turned that into over 200 bucks, right? Just pulling that out and away you go from there. And so, you know, then if you you start following the, the horse system, you're doing $10, $20, whatever it is, that then starts to compound. You know, and so like we talked about last time when I was doing, you know, ten, twenty dollar units and now I'm doing anything up to, you know, sixty dollar units some days. Um, that's not because I've put more money into no, those no. accounts, right? Like Correct. my my tab account didn't have a thousand dollars in it and I've put another thousand dollars in there so that I can do sixty dollar units. Right. It's happened because over time it's just grown and grown and grown and it compounds and it compounds and it compounds. And so, you know. When we when we caught up for the three month, I had about twenty bookies. Now I've opened about thirty five in total, but I've lost probably eight or ten of them. 
But I mean, again, that's 35 out of whatever it is. There's, there's like a hundred bookies yeah, now. Or, 79 or something. That would give you like, some sort of hey, offer. Like it's, 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 it's crazy. more than that. Right. The other thing that that's, that's, that's a good explanation. A lot of people ask yeah, that are in platinum out? when they have a lot of money, they're like, how do I spend my match betting money? And what I say to them is if you're not match betting full time, which is a minuscule amount of people, that's a, obviously a different game. But if you're still working your proper nine to five, earning your full wage, like you said, yeah. you siphon some into like a long-term investment account or a short-term investment account or whatever. Yeah. Your match betting is, for these people, is what I tell them, bro, that is your short-term investment yeah, account. Yeah, that's exactly Like it. you're in, you've, say you started with two grand and now it's 10K. Yeah. Your short, short-term investment, you've eight, that's 8K that you didn't have to save from your wage. So if you want to go on a holiday, instead of putting money into your short-term investment account, know that your match betting is your short-term investment account yeah. and spend some more of your wage because you are doing the hard work, the savings, whatever. You don't have to, the money's made here. You don't have, that doesn't mean you have to necessarily pull it out of your betting yeah. accounts to spend on a holiday yeah. to, to get the benefits of match betting, right? The benefits of match betting are you've made 10K here and instead of, you know, maybe you only save 6K of your wage because you've made 10K here and the 4K yeah. that you were going to put in your savings, there's your holiday. Yeah. And that's still come out of like, you know, whatever, turn, say that this 10K profit is now 6K. Yeah. It's here. Like yeah. that, that's how you can still use your match betting money in your everyday yeah, life. without having to withdraw. It's without having to actually yeah. take it out of your because betting account. Because people want to, they want to access it. And fair enough, like the best thing is when- you can leave it there. So if you put three k in, but you got three thousand three hundred to your name, like yeah, you've overreached. Correct. So yeah. then you want to want to need it out. There's a desperation to get it back, yeah. which then breeds a little bit of problem with like withdrawing or maybe acting a little bit emotionally, yeah. trying to move money from Betfair, yeah. trying to control outcomes, and then it's a disaster. So yeah. best advice is to get get an investment amount that you don't give a fuck about taking out for six to twelve months, and just let it compound because it's yeah. going to compound. Which is what you did. Correct. Yeah. Started with what did you start with like two k or something? Yeah, so I opened ten accounts and yeah, I put about two k in in total. Um, obviously, I've opened more accounts and I've put a little bit more in. Since What's then. your total that you've put in? Do you know that the total the total that I've put in now is probably all up. It's probably about four four k, and you've made a, four and a bit. 18. But on the four k um, that you've put in from your bankroll, yeah. that's now eighteen thousand profit. Yeah, on so top of that four k. Yeah, so that four k is now twenty two k. Yeah, correct. And that's the part yeah. that a lot of people don't understand. Yeah. So it's like instead of pulling. 10K out of here, if you spend 5K more than you normally would from here because you're not saving that additional 5K, you're still 17K better off. Yeah. This investment yeah. account is, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's crazy. And when you explain that to platinum members or members that start to make quite a bit from match betting, they're like, how do I use it in my everyday life? That is how I explain it to them. Yeah. This is already here. So if you, instead of saving a thousand every week, you save 800 and that $200, you're still making your 200 bucks here. You're just spending it here. Yeah. That's exactly so that's right. the easiest way to use what you're making from match betting yeah. without having to pull it out of your account. If you have to pull it out of your accounts for an emergency, whatever, fine. But if you have to pull it out because you don't have a single cent left over, then you've put too much into your match betting yeah. and you need to start smaller. Yeah. Or there's, I think, other way, like one way that I can- think of that you can spend it is with the cards, but I don't know how that goes uh, nah. from a sustainability standpoint. It. Like it's, it's very, just if you, we're not sure about that. Opinion. Like, yeah. honestly, I wouldn't know whether that's good or bad. Um, obviously I have I think if you need it. to access any of the money there, bar an emergency, if you need to access any of the money in your match betting within a 12 month period, I think that you're over invested in your match betting. Yeah. It's, it's probably something where you, it's- Barring you, an emergency. Yeah, of course. If there's yeah. someone fucking dies or you need a car, yeah. whatever, like you don't leave it in there. Yeah. But I, I think if, if you don't need a touch it, you just want it for like, oh, I want to see it in and my this bank account. this is assuming bro, come yeah. on, come if on, you're at the point- mindset's correct as well. Like obviously yeah. people, if you're struggling with discipline- like people have this illusion that every single person's a robot when it comes to match betting. There are people who get temptations to gamble. If you're in that case and you think your money's safer in your bank, then obviously you can take yeah. it out. But this is assuming yeah. correct mindset. Yeah, I think if you get to the point where you're, you're you're thinking that you need to make regular withdrawals on your accounts, it's it's not the match betting side of it's not yeah. the issue. It's you need to look at what you're doing with your like your, your day job and your wages and that sort of thing. All right, what's the next cool. one? Uh, we'll, do a, we'll do a couple more. Yeah, uh, yeah I've, got, I've, got, I've got three more questions. Um, so the next one comes from Paul A. Uh, any tips for part-time sustainability? So how do I do my sustainability if I'm not- it's Very so hard to answer. Well, I, no, I think it the easiest, is, what I would suggest knows. doing is when Platinum Pete worked out how to get 20 to 25 non-promo bets on through one or two different that events. Such a Which podcast was that? That was the, the three, three, the three, three month, month podcast. I, I would recommend going to that part of the three month podcast we'll and, and yeah. listening to 
Platinum Pete's light bulb moment there yeah. where he realized that he could get 20 to 25 non-promo bets through 10 bookies in 15 minutes. Yeah, we might uh, post that so. as its own clip. Yeah, right. maybe we should clip that up because that, I think you have already answered that fucking yeah, yeah. perfectly well, that, in that podcast. That, 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 set off the, that set off the chat with with Harry Potter in the, yeah. the thing and he yeah. actually- he actually built a yeah. spreadsheet yeah, yeah. that he shared with the so community you could for, sh- a, for a multi, like a multi booking, yeah, yeah. he- like two way yeah. hedge, which is like, it's just a masterpiece of Excel work. Yeah. But, you know, I used to do, I used to do that manually. I used to sit there and write, write all the odds out and then average yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, and he's got all the formulas and everything. So I think so, that, that yeah, is crazy. a really good answer to that question. And the other thing would be like, uh, I don't know what level this guy is. Is he platinum? I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, that's a hard Obviously, like if he's a platinum squad member, if you're not a platinum squad member and you are having a decent crack in match betting, once you learn Betfair, as you said in this podcast, yeah, it's a fucking game changer. It saves and you shit, up accounts and saves you a shit ton of time, patterns. and it's also more yeah. profitable. So I think. I mean, the, the big thing for me, and and again, the, the boys will link the, the 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 specific examples that I go through. But you know, if you find if you find like a three percent two-way hedge on two bookies. There's nothing wrong with converting that to 5% and being able to put it across all of your accounts. Correct, which is what you discussed which is what I do. really yeah. well in that in that yeah. other podcast. So Easy. that good question has been answered. We'll, we'll clip that up so that it answers that question. Sweet. Uh, next one comes from Nicholas. Do I plan on scaling accounts or raising my unit size? Um, so I've obviously talked about units um, in this one where I, I sort of have a bit of a fluid thing. Again, it's not recommended for everyone. I literally do it just based on what my day looks like, how many accounts I can use. It's probably a bit too complicated for anyone to try and copy or, or, or fuck around with. Um, you know, stick to a unit size. If, you, if you're not sure, obviously you guys have got coaches, you guys have got, you know, advice for people. You can look at people's bankrolls, how many accounts. So talk to these yeah, boys if, if you're not sure on raising your account. If this is a current sub, I would definitely say reach out to your coach. Yep. Yeah. Give them a run Every round. sub gets a personal coach. Yeah. So, yeah. That you, so your coach is already going to know where you started how long you've been there for, yeah. what your bankroll was, what your unit size was, how many yeah. units you made. So they're, they're going to be in the best position to answer that question for you. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's individual circumstances. Like there's there's no correct way to do it. But all I would say with regards to increasing unit sizes before we even touch on scaling is that the slower, in my opinion, over the first three months, the better. Yeah. Nail the process, nail the mindset. Don't focus on how much money you've made in your first three months. Just know that if your accounts are in perfect order, and you're here with all of them or most of them like you are in 12 months time, you'll go from $1,100 profit after your first three months to 18K in 12 yeah, months. That's, that's what you just need to understand the the horizon that you're working towards. With regards to scaling, if you don't know how to use Betfair, you don't have advanced defense and sustainability, yeah. you haven't been doing advanced match betting for minimum six months, Don't even, I wouldn't even fucking- I mean, my, my answer to that's a flat no. Yeah. Um, I've, I've already told- Well, you've this. been doing it for 12 months and you're still a flat no. Yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's literally, a, it's, it's a flat no for me. Um, not because not because I'm not interested in it or I don't think it's worth the time. Like obviously, again, you guys have had discussions with people who do it. They're making insane numbers. You know, they have a lot of time and, and put in a lot of effort and energy and, and full credit to them. Um, as far as I'm concerned, my my journey ends when I lose all my accounts, right? If in if in six if in six months time I've lost, you know, the the big accounts. If I've lost Nads, uh, Lads, Neds, Tab, all the big boys, what, yeah, all the, the big the bookies, big 10, right? Whatever, yeah. Right. If I if I've lost the big ten in six months time, well, cool. Thanks very much. I'll sit down. We'll have the you know here's the end of Pete's journey podcast. How much money did you make? You know, how did it change things? What are you going to do with it? All of that sort of stuff. And and you know, off I go into the sunset. And that's. That again comes from me not having had a gambling background. Um, yes, I would love to ring a mate and say, "Oi, I'm buying a phone and doing this, that, and the other," and you know, give us your details and away I go. Um, I I just don't want the hassle. Well, that's maturity. I, under- I understand that there's like there's plenty of profit to be made, yeah. and like I could do what I'm doing. I could you know again without going into how it all works, but I, I could sit down with five sets of accounts and still do what I'm doing. You know, it takes a little bit more time, obviously, and you know, there's more money to be made, but. I don't want to have to go through the hassle of how do I get access to it? How do I set them up? Like, what do I yeah. do with bankrolls? What do I do with getting money? Like, We recently kind of ch- changed our stance on the scaling to an extent. Like we initially let people speak about it in platinum and whatever. And that's cool. Yeah. Like we're happy for people to go and do what they want to do, but we've never taught it publicly. And I don't think we ever will. We have like high level discussions and th- there is a high level group that people yeah. that are taking the piss can be involved in. But the reality is, right, the way that we teach our education, the way we're setting it up, we're setting it up for Joe Blow that knows nothing. And yeah. if you jump into match betting, start understanding how profitable it is, and then you see, you know, 
Tom, Dick, and Ari going, I've got fucking all of my mates' accounts and I'm doing this and yeah. this and this. And we were seeing so many of the most amateur mistakes because as soon as you start scaling, the number one thought process for anyone that isn't advanced at it is like, holy fuck, I'm How about to make so I much money. money. Yeah. And, I'm, and as I, soon as you go down that path, you make every single fundamental mistake, yeah. you fuck up your mindset. And then when you're in that position where you're only making only making two or 300 bucks a week, you're like, oh, fuck, I can't be bothered anymore. Can't, yeah. It's not worth it. And that's when you just a, fucking cooked. Yeah, I, become, I think it's, a, I think it's a, a, a huge thing to, you know, to put out there for the community. Again, like I said, sort of off the start, like I'm not a Lenny or a Greenie and not everybody is. And those guys are, you know, they're, they're amazing at what they do and the way they set it up. But I, I, I think it's a very niche thing that they're yeah, able to do. It definitely is. It's, 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 one why of those it's not, it's why it's not mentioned in Platinum anymore don't, because don't, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a slippery slope and, and it's removes uh, the focus from what you're actually doing. Your expectations become a little bit warf, uh, warped yeah. um, from a sense of becoming unrealistic, um, yeah. which is a little bit dangerous. And like you said, it's for, it's for the, like the, you know, the top echelon of people that have the, the exact lifestyle, the exact mindset and the exact ability to be able, not everyone can yeah. do it. Like, even if there was a flawed course on how to do it, you're right. Like it is so niche. Yeah. There's only a small percentile of people that can do it and want to do it and will be able to stick to it properly yeah. for an extended and period of time. We've yeah. done it. Me and Tom had a little operation back in sort of 2018, 2019, and people always still ask us, well, if you made so much money doing this, why aren't you still doing it? Yeah. And you it's touch like, on it perfectly. Like energy, time, holistic view of your life. Like do you want to be match betting for – 10 hours on a Saturday, not see your missus all day, yeah. go home, you're fucking drained. The next day you just want to do nothing. Like it's good. There is a time and a place for it if you want to do that. And great. We made a lot of money from it. Lenny is already as a 19 year old, obviously saw his podcast, makes 28K in a month. He's not doing that anymore because yeah. he's had a break from it. He's realized at such a young age already of the, the negative effects. The, the burnout's real. Correct. And yeah. like you have to look at the – he's like smashing gym at the moment. If he was match betting, I can guarantee you he wouldn't do – to that level, he wouldn't be able to train. Yeah. It's like a trade-off. You have to consider everything. But he's also had that moment where – and we were in the office on Saturday together – yeah. And he came in buzzing because like the sports, both sports services, like two days yes. in a row. Yeah. And he was so happy. Correct. He hadn't made a cent. Yeah. But there's 90 people that are following what he's doing, what he's saying. And he's like, holy fuck. Like he's buzzing. And I'm like, bro, welcome to yeah. the real world. Like you're making 28K some months. <laughs> you haven't made any, but you've made the community all this money. Yeah. And yeah. how much fucking yeah. better does you, do you feel about yourself? It's a hard one. And you're like, yeah, yeah this is like sick. And so yes. he doesn't have as much money in his pocket, but- Dude, you have purpose and you're helping a yeah. hundred other people it, make money and change their life. He's seen 20 messages of someone saying, hey, I made 5K or- Yeah, and he's made, like, he, like, he uh, can't believe it. He's like, this is so sick. And I'm like, dude, we've had 500 subscribers at some point. Like we're 925 units. Like we're speaking to people who've made 50, 100K, changed their life, whatever. Like, dude, this is why we do it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's fucking sick. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so, so much better than- What's the, uh, what's the right. next one on here? All right, I got one more question before that though. Uh, shout out to a couple of people from Instagram. So Hugh, Orlando, Lockie, Sigma, uh, a massive, <laughs> high, massive, massive high five to Harry Potter again. Mate, you're, you're an absolute champ. All right, last question is a bit of fun. Um, I wasn't sure who was going to be in the room with me, Yeah, um, but- Put it out to you guys. Uh, when uh, when Netflix comes knocking to make the system mini series, <laughs> oh, JP, JP's best. Who do you want? Who do you, Last who week, do you like, want? We're making a doc. Who do you want? No, 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 not, not the documentary. I'm talking about like the Moneyball style, you know, or uh, you know, mini mini series. Who do you want playing you in the in the Netflix show? Wait, what? What is it? Fucking. I'll, um. So when they when they come to make like the dramatic, you know, here's the here's the ten part story of the system, <laughs> starring you know who. I mean, I'd like obviously, I'd probably get like a Jack Black or someone to be Platinum Pete sitting yeah, down and I like that. having a chat. I like that. Oh, I don't know, Tommy. What? I, Chris, I Chris honestly Hem don't know. Chris Hemsworth. Get no, me one of my mates. Professor. One of my mates. <laughs> money heist. One of my mates reckons that he looks like Chris Hemsworth, so I won't say that. But um, <laughs> get Dave Batista. Tongue in cheek. I think who's Jake Gyllenhaal still in the right at the moment? Jake He's Gyllenhaal. Yeah. yeah, not bad. Or Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Similar looks. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I went back. JP probably doesn't even know who they are. I went back to, I went yeah, back to I Nathan do. with you do? Uh, with Dave Batista as Big Lenny out there. <laughs> Get the cannons. He's not in the room. He's so moved into the movie scene as well, so that would work. He's not Big in the room. So that, 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 he's, a <laughs> he's a monster. <laughs> Batista. Just, yeah, just, just big Lenny, boy. not Batista. No, nah, Lenny. Just, well, get just, get both both of, just get the episode with Big Big Batista sitting down just scrolling through pages. I want to hear who JP wants to play JP. Yeah, who plays JP? Oh, he said it. Who? Professor. Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know. He's, He's a just Spanish actor. From, from Money, Money Heist? Heist? Oh, I have no idea who that is. Never you know, you'll have to get- uh, Money Heist editor, is Editor, put a picture up. Professor. Yeah. No, it doesn't look like- Wait, is this supposed to look <laughs> like or is it- No, no. Like? Just like a famous actor yeah, to play you. All day. Yeah, he wants that guy. I don't even know that. He's some Spanish actor. But, uh, <laughs> He's elite. Loves it. Yeah, he's good. Well done, boys.
All right, Brownie. Oh, yeah, Brownie. How good's Brownie? Finally, going? let's go. You've been tracking yes, Nathan yeah. Brown. So I know, yeah, I know who's Brown? A, Nathan Brown, who does the sports bet, same game multis. Yeah, so I know there's a there's a couple of there's a couple of uh, social media accounts out there have actually like really yeah. ripped in what him and torn him apart. Um, we'll put him on the t- screen. Tip something, my Brown. Tip my Brown or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitter. Twitter, something like that. Twitter. Shout out to Twitter. I think he just ticked over 500 followers. Hopefully he gets so, to 50,000. Yeah. Like yeah, we'll on, put it on. Good on him. Clip I'm, this I'm up. Annoyed. I'm annoyed I didn't steal the ID first and start throwing them up on my Instagram. But no, I sat down round one. We had the obviously the sports system kick in uh, round one, you know, Thursday night, Carlton, Richmond opening the season and Brownie pops his head up and says, here's my same game multi for tonight. And just again, a little light bulb moment. I just went, I wonder how these are going to go for the year. Like if I was if I was just sitting on the couch and I, and I haven't tracked every single one of them. You can't. I've literally just uh, – it's literally Unless just – Unless you see it, like yeah, you can't so, track yeah, it. I'll yeah, speak so about that in a second. But so, yeah, yeah, so I've, I, I've just tracked the ones that I've seen. So if yeah. I'm sitting on the couch on a Friday night, Strong, Saturday yeah. night, you know, I'll just I'll jot them down. I've actually put them in a spreadsheet as part of the, the tracker that we have. Um, and so, so, yeah, off off the numbers, uh, I've, I've seen 36 of Brandy's multis. Uh, he's had one winner. On that, which went plus plus three and a half plus three and a half units. <clears throat> so if you're putting one unit on every single one of them, you put ten dollars on it, you get thirty five dollars so back. Yeah, yeah, so you're minus, you're, you're minus thirty one and a half units. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually went back through it the other day and had a look, and I said, oh, if I put if I put every single one of these on as a as a promo multi, so if like one leg failed, I went back yeah, through yeah. all thirty six of them, and I said, okay, if one leg failed and I got my money back, and I turned it over at sixty five percent. Uh, like we do with the, the system, how much better off am I? Uh, and I would have clawed back another eight units. Yeah, nice. So you're still, you're still negative. Still, that's still, shocking. You're still so negative, negative, 20, negative, 20, negative, 20, negative 23, 24 units off, off, 30, off 36 bets in so six I, months. So I want to say something and here. And that's horrific. That's, that's not, again, that's not every single one. No, that's, that, that's me sitting yeah. on the couch on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Like whenever it is that I, I happen to watch the game and, and I catch the multi and I go, oh, I'm here. I've seen the multi. Yeah. I'll put a unit on. Correct. And it's, it's nuts. And I want to touch on that. how bad they are. That That is so well done. And whether they've know, they know this or not, I'm not sure. But you can't actually find it. I think it plays once and that's it. So if you don't see it, that's yeah. just a fucking multi thrown out into cyberspace. Whoever sees it, yeah. if you bet on it, great. If you don't, well, you never see it. But you can't actually like. There's no way to find it again if you don't record yeah, they, it. Then they it's don't done. even they don't even put them up. Like, it's not I, on YouTube. It's not on fucking. Yeah, they don't there tweet was, it's done. There was nothing. one. There was one. There's one. I can't remember when it was. There was one that I saw, and I was too slow joining it. Correct. Down. And um, I still went onto the Sportsbet app, even though I'm banned. I still have the app. I, I went onto the Sportsbet app. Okay. Because I thought that like they would. Have I might it just there. have a segment. There'd like be like a segment. special yeah, he, or whatever. Yeah, brownie's yeah. bet. Brown, yeah, yeah. His brownie's bet or something like that. They don't even have that. No. I actually, it's I actually, fully genius. I actually text like, well, Instagram messaged one of my mates and was like, "Did you catch Brownie's bet?" And he was like, "Yeah, here it is." And he actually sent me a photo of it because he, you know, he knew that I was following him. And he t- so he photos. Yeah, nice. He's like, oh, "I'll send." If that. anyone has him, send him to they're, Pete because he'll absolute, get more results. They're absolute and trash my brown. I laughed. I absolutely. I laughed my ass off yesterday in the the sports chat because I'm sitting down. We we're recording this Monday. Yesterday uh, was the, the West, uh, Hawthorne Melbourne game, and the Brandy's bet comes up, and one of the lines in there was John Newcomb for twenty five possessions, and John Newcomb wasn't playing in the game. Yeah, well, it's probably like, there was a few multis but, this but week there where they had void legs. But that's so that's one of those things, right? Where it's like you're 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 coming up ten minutes before the game to say, here's my bet of the week. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, here's here's my bet for the game. And it's probably it's been recorded on probably no, Thursday, like, Thursday or Friday I'll just or something speculate. like that. He's being told what to like. He's not making no, no, the fucking one hundred percent. Yeah, he's just reading the script. One hundred percent. He's reading the script. But what 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 staggers me right is a obviously the bets are shit. Right, they they garbage lines. Negative. Right? Yeah, yeah. The the number of times and I've, I've joked about it with the guys in the community. The number of times like there was one that he had come up and it's like oh you know. Adam Trelaw is averaging 32 possessions a game and Dyson Heppel's averaging 20 yeah, possessions yeah, yeah. a game. So my bet for this week is Bailey Dale to have 25 touches and Mason <laughs> Redmond to have 30 plus. Yeah, they're not even Gamble in there. Yeah, the they're not like, even in there. What are you, ta- what are you, ta- what he's got, the got you talking about, Brian? fucking whiz-bang graphs that look so cool. Like yeah. he's hit this 15 but, and you see all these and then he went out of this game because he was subbed off. Yeah, so yeah. he's going to hit 15 again. But- <laughs> but they, but they, but they, they it's clearly, factored in. They clearly have a look at them and they pre-record them and that sort of stuff, right? And that's that's all well and good, but however you yeah, want to market it, you fine. market it, right? What what boggled me and what blew my mind and what I hope opens people's eyes as to why pre-recording them is shit, right? And and it doesn't it doesn't work is if they've if they've recorded this on a Thursday night or a Friday night and the game is on Sunday, right? 
all sorts of things can change in terms of like variables, right? Players get sick, yeah, players weather. get hurt, players start as the sub, weather. right? Someone change of position, anything. yeah, change yeah, of position, yeah, right? Anything. Any any anything can happen, right? But the fact that not only not only do they pre-record it, but that there's for a company as big as sports bet, there's not then a QA person who can re- who, re- who rings Channel Seven and says, "Hey, Jai Newcomb's not playing. Oh, Don't yeah, yeah. run this." We've got a backup bet, or we've got a second one, or yeah. we just can't put the bet out. Was he a late out, or was it like yeah, a, he was a late a out, like 90, late. 90, 90 minutes before the game? That's he was hard. A late I out. think that's pretty tough. No, one hundred percent, I get it. Right? Yeah, I, I, I get, I, I get why it didn't happen. But I'm yeah. like, guys, you are a multi billion dollar organization, and your quality control is still at the point where you have put out an ad to say, hey, come and gamble with us. On a bloke responsibly, on gamble with us responsibly <laughs> on a bloke that's not playing, mm. right? So how many people would have looked at that and gone, oh, John Newcomb's not playing, but I'll put the other three legs in and I'll yeah, go spot find, on. And I'll go find someone else. Exactly, yeah, and that's yeah. what right. they know. Like they have and, the most genius uh, fucking things that they invent. Uh, we see like the chat feature that's just so gone much. Tracker, like, that's, like, it's so elite. Just keep you on the up. They, that's they, the sort of thing Like we always say we love to sit in their meetings, but all they would need to do is just go on a Facebook group, go in a pub, just do what punters are talking about and mimic that and make it convenient for them. And it's just like fucking- Yeah, it's genius. They're collecting so, money yeah. off fucking everywhere. Just donation, pay, pay me. donation. Fuck, donation. Fuck. Nah, Fuck off, um, crazy. But that's, the other that, thing as well that, we've noticed- that shits me. This is maybe, I don't know if this is deliberate, but you'll see the multis $4.50 and you'll go and do it. And then it's six. Yes. So then yes. the fucking person, oh, fuck, that's value on place and that. And it's I'll like, put done, on, done again. put 30 on it. Correct. Yeah, and it's like, 100%. fuck, they said it was 450, now it's six. Yeah. I can't believe he's only won from the from both you and the other guys won one. I, it probably I think, he won, I think he actually hit two this weekend because in two of them there was a void leg. Now, I don't know if they pay out. I actually don't nah. know if you have a void leg, if they void the whole multi that's or not, they pay it out if it wins. I, I, don't, nah. I don't. But in the results, they track it as, a, as a win. I would I would, would, I would assume it's voided. I've, I've yeah. had a couple well, of- The guy tracking is like, I'm yeah. being generous. Like, they're, they're wins anyway. And he's still minus like $700 since round 15. I like out a standard $20, that's fucking horrendous. $20 bet. That's, so that's actually, it yeah. blows my mind. Go I to the Twitter, track my brown, read through all of them, and then genuinely like think about- why is he sitting in front of me? Why is he telling me to bet this way? Do you and think the bookie is giving you a bet that they want you to win on? Yeah. And if you think the answer is yes, you have rocks in your head. The, like the, dead the set that, rocks in your no, head. 100%. The you one that, paid to make you lose. The one that really twigged me onto it, again, I, I didn't have much of muchness before I started all this in terms of gambling. I don't like it. I didn't, I didn't like betting on things I can't control. I, you know, People who want to gamble for fun, whatever, right? I, I had no issue with it. Right? I'm, I'm now very much like, fuck the bookies because you- the more you do this, the more you see it. The one that triggered it for me was right after we did the last podcast. Um, there was a like a I was watching like the you know seven racing thing, and they had like the, you know here's like the Ladbrokes Power Hour or whatever the fuck it was, right? And it's like here are our experts and like four guys around the table having a chat. And I think it was Animo. I th- I think I, don't quote me on this, but I, I think it was Animo was in a race that day, and was like the absolute super duper red hot favorite. Right, and it was paying like a dollar thirty, and they said to one of the guys on there, he was just like, "Look, if you're only betting on one horse today, Animo's Animo's the horse to bet on, right? It's not going to lose. I know it's not paying much, but it's it's the horse to it's the horse to bet on if you were going to you know put your mortgage on it, right? That kind of thing." And all three other guys were just like, "Mate, he's only paying a dollar thirty. What's the point?" Now he won, right? The, the horse won, right? Which again, cool, whatever. But on this round table where you are supposed to help me as a mug punter find winners, you are telling me that the unbeatable cannot be stopped, will definitely win $1.30. And I know Steve's talked about dollar twenty legs, but the dollar thirty horse, right? Put your house on it, says one guy. And the other three guys go, nah, it's not worth it, mate. Let's find, let's find something with a bit more value. And it's like, but I don't give a shit about the value. I want the winners. Yeah. And it's like, that's where, yeah. from the system's point of view, the number of times where a tip will come through and like, Again, I open up the app and you look at it and I go, okay, it's a two-tip race. I think it'll be these two horses, right? You know, just historically knowing what we sort of look for without knowing the herbs and spices, I look at it and I'm like, all right, I'm ready to put my bet on, you know, number one and number two. And then the tip comes through and it goes two units on number eight. And I go, (laughs) fuck, okay, two units on number eight. 
And then number eight gets the win and it's paid $6 and it's beaten through $3 horses. And I'm like, where yeah. did you pull that we from? We do sometimes how? have people in there how? that are like, oh, <laughs> they'd already placed the second bet because they're like, oh, I thought you were going to back this one and then you yeah. backed something else and well, they're fucking Yeah, but up, like the know. worst part about that fucking thing is no investor is putting one fucking bet on or one investment yeah. on. Like if you're betting on one horse. The, like, the, the prime example prime not- example for me of the system, and I think it's the, the, the final thing that I'll finish up on is – you can't assume anything, and we we had Saturday just gone, and was it Zaki was like the the horse to beat, the favourite. Yeah, and the wing and stakes. I I had it open, ready to go. We're betting on Zaki. Here we go. You guys come through, and you're like, it's one unit on Fangirl, and I was like, really? Okay, <laughs> one unit on Fangirl, and Zaki was nowhere. And Apparently, fan, the office and, went off, and Fangirl yeah. took Fangirl took it home at like five fifty, we and were it. the chat went ballistic. Yeah. <laughs> It was, great, it was a great way to finish the day. Plus, it was huge. also just good reward for we were sitting at plus eight, ended up getting back to plus half a unit. Yeah. So many people would have been fucking flat, whatever. There's five races left, lots of one-tip races. We're fucked. We're not going to have a fill-up today or we're not going to make our six, seven units. And then you have to wait till the last race. We're plugging yeah. away plus two, plus three, and you get to the last race, you go four units profit on the four and a half for most people yeah. on the last race. And I guarantee, and I guarantee you- have had a fantastic day. And that's all just from patience. Guarantee you that everybody in the chat was looking at it thinking, okay, it's going to be a unit on Zaki at $2.70 or whatever it was. Yeah, all I right, think cool. drifted to like threes, we, but yeah. Yeah, we're all right. We'll, all right, we, we might pull back a unit or a unit and a half or two units or whatever it is yeah, on the day. Just and then, let it play yeah, out. Fangirl just comes through and we're like- yeah, great result. And then it's a Don't really get nice emotional. day, massive week, 15 Harry minute Hindsight week. says thank like, you, but Thanks for coming. I mean, 100%. No, you, but it's it's one of those things, guys, where like the whole point of these tipping services, that from the mugs point of view, Branny, the Ladbrokes Power Hour, Jason Richardson, whoever it is, right, they are selling themselves as I will find you a winner. They are getting paid by the bookmakers. Correct. Who only make money when you lose. And if 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 you take one thing, this is you know an hour and a half, two hours, however long this is going to end up being. If you take one thing out of all of this, it's when you are sitting there watching that shit. Remember how they make their money. Just think, think about it. Yeah. How do they, how are they going to make their money? They're going to make their money not by finding you winners. They're going to be make they make their money by selling you hope. They want to find you the horse that's going to run third or get beaten by a head. And you're gonna bet on it, and, and then, then you're gonna bet again, and then you're gonna get your fuck. 50- Richard almost got that one, and then so you get, and then you get next time, and then you're gonna get your fifty dollar bonus bet, and you're gonna chuck it on, a, you know, ten dollar outsider because fuck it, it's a free hit anyway. Instead of turning it over with the system, instead of putting cash in your pocket, and that's what these boys do. That's what I've done. Eighteen k, twelve months. Let's fucking go. Yeah, no, well, we very much appreciate you coming back on again. Obviously, I know you enjoy doing these. You're taking yeah, a day it. off work for it, so we appreciate <laughs> you coming down to the office. Easy, um, but. Obviously, hopefully you can inspire other people to get involved with it or even better, stop people from losing. Um, it. And it's been nice to hear your story. Yeah, I'm looking develop. forward to the, the 24-month catch-up. But more <laughs> importantly it. as well, like if you're watching this, you know, follow. I, I like that you're like you're really honest and genuine on your Instagram. So for people yeah. that don't want to listen to me or JP or Steve, whatever, like we don't care. But, you know, you're like literally the average Joe who probably doesn't have enough time to match bet, who's found time to make it yeah. work. You know, now you've made eighteen thousand dollars in twelve months. Yeah, complete. The other thing as well is like it's, you've done that risk free. Yeah, like you're not you, you haven't risked twenty five k to make eighteen k. You started with four. You've now got twenty two. You've made eighteen thousand dollars in twelve months. And like, if that isn't a wake up call for people sitting there that are punting every Saturday or are watching these videos thinking, fuck, should I give it a crack? Whatever. Fucking message Pete. Go yeah. on his Instagram. Watch his That's videos. It. Just yeah, there's just so I'm much opportunity. Always for, up for it. I'm always for up average for people that have a it's, decent amount of money to go and <clears throat> fucking skyrocket yourself. Go and pay for your Europe trip next year. Yeah. By sticking to something for twelve months and thank yeah. yourself later. Yeah, that's it. The DMs if, are always open. I'm always yeah. up for a chat. Anyone, you know, the guys that I've shouted out, the guys that have asked questions. I will people who haven't been subbed have asked me how it works. People who are subs ask me what I do. I'm happy yeah. to answer any questions you have. Yeah, it's, it's you know, like I said, if I'm not, I'm not expecting anyone to go and you know start making twenty grand in a month and all that sort of stuff. It's like, but you know, if if you're losing on the punt or if you you know if you're on the fence, yeah, flick us a message and we'll have a chat. And we'll leave your link. Uh, we have an affiliate program now that anyone yes. can join. But Pete's yep. been one. I'm not sure if you've had your link posted much anywhere, but uh, it's just on the Instagram. Yeah, we'll chuck yeah, it in I'll, the description. I'll put it up there. Um, yep. If we'll make you a code. So if you're watching this on YouTube. Which looked at in the description, the first link we'll put there. If you sign up on that link to the system, 
um, Pete will obviously be rewarded through. Plus, you um, get yourself a nice little and discount. And you get a discount. So, so if you don't want to sort of, well, if you want to pay Pete, give him some reward <laughs> for his uh, efforts, <laughs> then that'll, that'll help him out. Um, obviously, that's how we're paying him, um, even though we haven't. I really paid you a yeah, cent so far. I don't think anyone's signed up yet, but that's um, that's perfectly fine. It's, uh, hopefully yeah, you get I some. I haven't really pushed it. Again. Yeah, you haven't I'm, pushed I'm it. I'm not huge it's on not social media. I just nah. I post my thoughts as they come. You know, I'm starting to put a few things up about the gym and whatnot now. Yeah. I've getting back into training. No, it's but been good to see. No, it's been, it's been awesome, guys. It's cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's literally literally life-changing. I've, yeah. I've loved like the last 12 months. Like you should definitely be like proud of yourself. Yeah, I'm sure 100%. that your missus absolutely loves it. Your kids yeah. probably get a few extra Christmas presents yeah, and whatnot. It. But yeah, it's been massive to see what you've done. And as I said, like I'm really excited for the next 12 months. And even if your journey does end in six, 12, whatever it is, like when you get to that final figure, it's 20, 30, 50, who knows what it is, but yeah. it's money that you didn't have before. It's money that you worked bloody hard for, especially at the start. And now you get to reap the rewards and everyone gets to see it. So it's nice. That's I've it. really enjoyed it. Well done. We'll see you next time. Thanks, see you later. Boys. See ya. All right.